Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Emerald Adventures because I decided, meh, I shall go ahead and do a bit more grinding. Everybody is at level 60 now, including Lottie, and we are going to go... Oh, wait, actually, speaking of that, I should probably take the Macho Brace off of you since we are no longer doing grinding. Thank you. But... I decided, man, we will try to capture Kyogre Rayquaza of Groudon later. I wanted to give the Battle Frontier another shot. That's why I got did a bunch of grinding. I still think it is very silly that you can't do the level 51, especially when the game tells you, hey, we recommend that you do the level 50 challenge first as a beginner. And then the game turns around and says, how dare you actually be prepared for the Elite Four and the Champion? That just seems silly to me. And the only reason, and I also think that it is very much just cruel of the game to do that, because without the speed up, that would be forever. That is way too long of grinding to do, but either way, we are going to give this another shot. Let's talk to our, our protege. Is it you? I'm delighted to see you again. Ever since I became your apprentice, my confidence has been blooming. I think I'm ready to raise a Pokemon of my own. And may I impose you to choose which Pokemon I should raise? The choices are uh, Alakazam or Melodic. You're going to choose Final Evolutions? I figured that would be like Abra or Feebas, but uh, go for Alakazam. They're pretty good. I will find one right away. You are an odd duck. But we are going to go and uh, try the single battle diddly dia thing again. Welcome to the battle tower. Because I do want to fight, like, the the diddly D uh, frontier brain people, or whatever they're called. Let's see. In this, we should have Zoom be our safety. And then the other two can be whatever. We're going to bring Lottie in, because she's actually really strong now. Even if her move pool is kind of limited. I probably should have fixed that. Oh, well. We're going to give this a shot, then. Because I, I I don't know the, how these specifically work. It's like you get a certain number of wins just in general at a battle tower. Or like any of the frontiers. And then you're like uh, granted opportunity to fight the people who are the gods of this world. Or whatever. <gasps> Poison powder is in our cotton spore move. That is completely incorrect. Because cotton spore. Or like... Whatever. I'm gonna annihilate you. But yeah, I went out of my way to grind everyone to level 60, so things should be nice. Now smack it in the face. Dear God, everything's gonna have a lot of health, isn't it? At least it went down in two hits. What are you gonna send out? You're gonna... Oh, we don't get a chance to change. Well, I have Surf, so be gone. Let's see how much damage that does. A decent amount of damage. Thank God that that missed. Be gone, Satan. And your last one... It's gonna be Shroomish. Everybody flinches under the power of Zoom. But yeah, we're going to try and see about fighting through this place over and over again. Just to mostly see about... <laughs> that. Okay, thank, thank you, game, for being kind. That sleep didn't last that long. Because I just want to experience the frontier. My cotton spore was useless. As was the poison powder that didn't exist. We'll restore your Pokemon to full health. Thank you. I am ready. Let us fight number two. Here I come feeling ready for it all. Like, are these just like randomly generated phrases? It, it feels like that, but it can't be because this is kind of an older game. We haven't run into a Krabby, have we, before? Kill it. Skill it. Flinch all you want, you're still gonna die. Two for flinching. Three for flinching? Aw. 
Not the mud shot. Why do you even have that, you monster? You might use mud, mud slap or whatever to slow down the zoom, but zoom is still faster than you. How dare you? How dare you be faster than zoom? That is illegal. Being faster than zoom is 50 years in the penitentiary. What the fuck? He hit underwater. What if we use surf? <laughs> I like that that worked. Sure, it didn't do much damage because he's a jerk, but I like that it still did damage. I like that. And who are you going to send out? Oh no, it's the abomination of the Mystery Dungeon universe. It is the Satan Man. And you use hail at the end. Then again, your team really isn't built to withstand hail, is it? So I guess that kind of makes sense. But you will be annihilated. Goodbye. Is Zoom just going to carry us? See, when everybody's on the same level, like it would have been nice if it was at fucking level 50, just by rounding down everybody's levels and stats and stuff, like, at least this feels fair. That was not what I would need. Talking to these crazies is funny. Opponent number three. Come on, let's see some spirit. Are you going to use ghosts? Is that a pun? Why is a breeder here? Why do you have a level 60 Azuril? Why is, do you have a level 60 Azuril? Is your Azuril a literal man-child? At least you don't level up in the frontier areas. Like, on the one hand, that feels kind of crazy. You would always want to be, like, leveling up. Except leveling up in this place would just make everything even harder. Yeah, sure, you went first, you're gonna make him flinch, but it didn't do that much damage. Now you're gonna die. So you're just here to waste everybody's time, I take it. You're just here to waste everybody's time! Why? It is a no Zoom is a normal type! You're a fighting type! You should be using karate chop backflips! What is wrong with you, Makuhita? I have I have farmed you and your elder evolution to get to level 60. Why are you a level 60 and quit protecting yourself? Quit wasting everybody's time. Aside from that fake out, you have done nothing. You are a fool. Oh, Cleffa is adorable and it's gonna die. Unless it uses metronome. But I don't know, it's like metronome, act of God, all of your Pokemon die. Well, so much, so much for our spirit. So weird. Want to see when it's actually fucking f leveled properly? It's nice. I am on fire, baby. Well, you should be put out. My my Lanoon, no surf. Do you need to be put out? Why do you have fire inside a building? I feel like this is illegal. I forget what moves best for you. Let's try with a good old flinch. Oh no. I think this might be the first time that zoom goes down. Well, you surf. Well, at least it does normal damage, even if surf isn't all that good. Not the nom nom on my poor zoom. <laughs> this is a trade of blows. Luckily, oh, oh, come on, game. Right as I said, well, it looks like I was going to win. The game cheated there. How dare the game cheat in that precise situation? You whore. Well, fine, I'm going to send out uh, Lottie because Lottie learned recover. So, haha, <laughs> fun times ahead. Psychic. So, in a, in a way, Lottie could very well be a stone wall with recover. Oh, no. It's not gonna work, is it? Oh, it does. Why does Brain always think that thing shouldn't? Again, I need a type chart cheat sheet. Because I, I suck. 
An AA Ron. Not the AA Ron. Uh, Mist Ball. I will throw Mist Balls at your face until you are blinded. Metal Sound? What the f. Okay, special defense went down. Spe Misty Ball. Lottie just throws Misty at everybody. Multiple clones of Misty. Not the metal claw! That's the worst kind of claw! We're going up against Wolverine! In a tiny body! Although he has the eyes of sand, so who knows? Aye! No water, please! No water, please? We will restore your Pokémon to full health. I wonder how they keep Pokémon from leveling in this place. I haven't to worry at all! I'm gonna give you many. I'm gonna give you 99. And what are you gonna throw at me? An Ekans. I don't think we've seen an Ekans yet. So I shall kill you! Not the screech that lowers my things. But also while uh, just looking up various things of Pokemon Emerald, since we're in the end game, I uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but apparently there's something in the Meteor Falls cave thing. So we'll have to go back there eventually. But I wanted to do the frontier a bit. Not the spun spore. Not the spun store. At least it didn't seem to do anything for that. Good. Oh no, you, you survived with kind of sort of one health. You survived with five. And now thanks to the paralyze. I'm going to be expecting a paralysis to hit me every single time. You are a whore! Are you doing that? Oh no, the Oddish is pulling a me. It's pulling a me. Make it flinch. Make it flinch so I can laugh at it. Or just get a critical hit. Just skipping all the steps. But that Oddish was pulling a me. Paralyzed me. And then first time seeing a Hound Hour. Cool. But yeah... Cut paralyzed Zoom and was healing constantly to wait for a opportunity to attack me. And once again, somebody who's just like, I am going to waste your time with protect and detect. Why? All right, you used an attack. Good for you. Is that because you foresaw a paralysis happening? Okay. And also that crunch did a ton of fucking damage. Holy shit. And Zoom responded with a critical hit. Okay, doke. Goodbye, Lady Zoe. I worry about my Pokemon skill. You should. We will restore your Pokemon to full health. Come on, opponent number six. Yahoo! Yahoo! No product placements in the battle tower. Oh, a snow runt! Snow runt was in the third generation? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I just haven't seen one yet, so I wasn't expecting this. All right, you get a full background? You get a full background for Icy Wind? Interesting. Abracadabra. This reminds me of uh, looking up uh, random TV tropes pages for Pokemon. And apparently in Germany... They had their own, like, ooh, there is a mystical Pokemon that is hard to find. Hey, Mudkip, first time seeing you. But, like, uh, because, uh, I forget. In some places, people are like, ah, oh, there's another evolution, or there's this hidden Pokemon. Apparently in Germany, because they translated Abracadabra Alakazam to the German version, which I do believe is Abracadabra Zimzalabim. And the evolution was changed to be Abra Kadabra, and then Alakazam became Zimzala. And then people in Germany was like, there's a fourth evolution called Ben that's missing. Find him. Goodbye. Goodbye. We will restore your Pokemon. It's just interesting to hear, like, other places' Pokemon ideas. I'm going to be a mother. Okay, you just throw that out there. Sure. 
your sprite is completely wrong. Your sprite was that of a normal woman and you had clothes on your main sprite, but you're a swim lady. What? Oh, this ain't good at all. I think this might be the first time that Zoom gets beat down before taking out another Pokemon. That's not good. Break through the confusion, Zoom! Yay! Make it flinch, too! Or you can... Uh, 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 why did you do so much... Di because of Swagger. And it got a critical hit because the world isn't fair. Fair enough. Send out Lati. I was wondering why the attack did so much damage. And it's because of, uh, ba 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 <laughs> swagger. It caused confusion, but raised my damage to high hell. And I for for completely forgot about that. Oh, a Sneasel! I wish I could have a Sneasel in this game. I didn't even get a Sneasel in, uh, Pokemon Crystal because... Oh, shit. That's not good at all. Well, we'll have to swap out. But yeah. I just completely forgot to go to the right place when it was nighttime. It's gonna do a lot of damage because I swapped, right? Or not. Leap Blade! Huzzah! And that's gonna do tons of damage because Shane is a grass type. But not as much as I thought. And we get to have fun by using Giga Drain. I keep forgetting, it's not Faint Attack that does that, it's Pursuit. Pursuit is a move that does extra damage to Pokemon that are leaving combat. Critical hit, huzzah! Goodbye, Schnazel. Leaf Blade! Again with the Detect? What does that even- why? I, I can understand it to a degree, but on the AI, it's just spamming it again and again. It's just a spammy little spam move. Spammer, spam, spammer, spam. Yay, waste time for everybody. Don't attack. Don't do that. Maybe if I just keep using Leaf Blade, you'll just keep using Detect, and you'll eventually die without having done a thing. You are an odd little man, but you do have very nice eyes. Again, you're just using Detect. Punch somebody. Use your punches. Punch someone. Speaking of that, I have a video loaded up that I'm eventually going to watch, which is an hour long, going, to why, going over why the perfect run of Punch-Out will never happen. I'm too happy to be angry. I thought you were going to be a mother. Congratulations, you've been all seven trainers. In recognition of your infinite talent, we award you these battle points. One. I got one. I got one battle point. Sure? And then if I remember correctly, you need to... Let me quickly look up Battle Frontier to understand if I need to do anything different. Because it could be that I'm being a dumb... Let's see. Battle Frontier from Bulbapedia. Let's see. The Battle Frontier replaces the Battle Tower in its location. Well, that's weird. But the Battle Tower is still there. Let's see. Overview. Upon the, uh, their trainer card be upgraded to the Frontier Pass. Oh, we'll have to look at that then. This pass holds the trainer card as well as a small map of the Battle Frontier. Okay, cool. Which includes saved up battle points and any of the seven Frontier symbols that the player won. Only one battle from one of the facilities may be recorded and stored on the pass, which may be watched or overwritten at any time. Upon winning through a set amount of battles in any given facility, battle points will be rewarded, usually in small amounts, to gradually grow with each consecutive streak. 
Defeating the Frontier Brain of a given facility for the first time awards the civil symbol of the facility as well as 10 BP. Defeating the same Frontier Brain a second time during the same streak gives the player the golden symbol and another 10 battle points. The Frontier Brain will only appear in 3 versus 3 single battle mode. Hmm, no restrictions. Oh no, restrictions. And then it says no two underneath and my brain went dumb. No two Pokemon entered can be the same species or hold the same items. Items cannot be used from the bag during battle, except the battle pyramid, in which the pier uh, can use items from their battle bag. Battles conducted here do not award experience or money, and any items gained or lost during the challenge are reverted to the end. Regardless of which challenge is taken, the following Pokemon are not allowed. Oh, so going after Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza would have been a waste of time anyway, because they're banned. As well as Mewtwo, Mew, Lugia, ho -Oh, Celebi, Deoxys, specifically the speed form, unless that's just a wiki strange thing, Jirachi, and Egg. Alright, so I just need to beat up the battle frontier until the frontier brain comes out to play. And it's all about streaks. It's all about streaks. Okay. Once again, Zoom will be our front backer. Before entering, please save. Very interesting. It is a bit odd that it is... You'd think that if it was, like, a streak-based thing, it would just be... Well, then again, they guess they want to have, like, fun having the player face different kinds of challenges. That's true. So... But still, my brain kind of defaults to if it's meant to be a streak thing, why not have the player fight trainers until the frontier brain comes out? I can't be defeated. Well, let's look about that. But this is... Now that I am actually at a substantive level, and all the level is fair, things are nice. Steel is still evil, though. And Zoom is the only one that I have that can fight steel types. That was a lot of damage, how dare you? So I guess we can go until we get silver, the silver badge. And then possibly... Oh, fuck off, game. Why does my diddly D surf always miss when I need it to hit? But back on thought, I think my method will be that we will go down a single Battle Frontier path until we get the silver, and if possible, we will continue on until we get to the gold or we lose. We'll just, we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. Ah, crap, I forgot. Crunch is a dark type move. My brain just didn't register it. Again, I need. And again, the game, again, the game is very mean, how dare. But yeah, uh, again, my, I really could require a nice little cheat sheet just propped up. It's just like, this is what does what. This good against that, that's bad against that. Larvitar, we haven't seen you yet. Soikik! I should have probably looked up what the Battle Tower's, like, win streak necessary to bring out the brain is, though. I wonder if it's, like, two go-arounds? More? I don't train good enough? You're weird, lady. Are you also going to be a sur- uh, you have a surfer lady? Oh no, you're a triathlete. Once again, did not really appear to be a triathlete in your sprite, but who am I to say? Kill the child. Kill the child. Not metronome. No! Luckily, it's only a leech seed, but that is a perpetual thing, and that is evil. The child must be annihilated. Goodbye, child. And now we are up. Oh, Spiro! It used the classic call for Spiro. 
How nostalgic. And protect again? Why does everything have protect or detect and shit? It's a time-wasting move. In this case, it works out because Leech Seed is happening. But still. And of course you live with 2 HP. You fuck. And you Leech Seed. You fuck. And you have a berry, you slut. Die. Why? Why? Why is this move a thing? Sure, it has a high rate of failure sometimes. But otherwise, it's just very annoying. Luckily, it seems to mostly, like, fail on repeated use. So, hilariously... It's only good for, like, uh, laming a single round out. Of course you use quick attack, because you're illegal. You're a monster, and you deserve to die. Come on out, Lati. We must murder. Mist ball. Make that bird crash. Bye-bye, Taylo. How dare you get in my way? Why couldn't I win this? Because you're a failure in the wrong sprite. But yeah, now that I'm actually of a good level, this frontier is actually cool. Come on, playtime is over. We are literally playing exactly right now. I still think that the game should have allowed for higher level Pokemon to be, like, reduced down. I kind of understand why they would be hesitant to do that, at least at this point, because, like, well, that's shit. Let me guess, crit, nope, just super effective. Fuck you, asshole. I have a motherfucking psychic type ready to kill your nuts. But yeah, I can, I guess I can understand not wanting to, like, program in things like that, because, like, even if a Pokemon is, like, Lower down to level 50. <coughs> Excuse me. Voice is hitching. Even if you lower down a Pokemon to level 50 and you reduce its stats accordingly, it'll still have its moves. So unless the game, like, has a snapshot of the Pokemon at level 50, which even then would be kind of shenanigans. But still, I feel like there should have been the option of using level 50 Pokemon of your normal team. Because again, your Pokemon like, are going to be of higher level than 50. Unless you just went in wholly unprepared against the Elite Four, and then somehow won. I just don't like that little piece of thing. I feel like they're just ways of doing the Battle Frontier that aren't as frustrating. Or at least are frustrating in an understandable way. Well, you, you better not flinch twice or I'm gonna call shenanigans. I hardly ever get two flinches in a row, so you shouldn't get any. Ah, great, it's this jerk. He matches the typing. But at least he should be buffeted by the sand, right? Good. At least he also gets buffeted. Oh, is, th is that going to cause it to rebound? I think it might cause it to rebound. I haven't seen Magic Coat in action all that much, so I don't know. Nothing happens, so I think I'm good. And luckily, I still have Shane after this. So I still have another Pokemon on hand. Not the Seismic Toss. Not the Super Flip. 
not the flip to dip. Oh, and I guess the sandstorm subsided. I was expecting it to buff it. Not the secret power. It does a lot of damage. Missed ball, I guess. And Lottie still survives. Never having fainted. Please don't hit me. You're a, you're a black belt man. You always get hit. But yeah, when the game actually is fair. I only know how to charge. Well, you're not getting my credit card. But when the game is actually fair, even levels, it's actually nice. Surf. Get owned! Know how I feel when I fought the Hitmonlee man. Oh no, the Hitmonlee man has come as a child again. That would be an interesting game thing, actually. A game idea. What if you played as an evil overlord, but the same hero that you strike down keeps reincarnating? And coming after you. I think that would be amusing. Hey, it's the first time we've seen a Tyro game. You also have Protect. Why use Protect? Like, uh, I, uh, I, uh, why? Oh, now you're using Mock Punch. Why? You could have just used Mock Punch the last round. Why use Protect? You are an odd little thing, aren't you? Why? Protect means nothing. It does nothing but annoy, and now you are dead. Why does the AI continuously use protect? Uh, you're going to... You're, you're going to a legend? You are going to a legend. Okay. A Pokedex is a little radio? And P Generation 2, I think, yeah. I think that it actually does have a radio feature. Ah, deja vu. Let's see if this goes down in one hit, too. Deja vu. Goodbye, Onyx. Don't send out a Machop. Now you send out a Houndour. Wait a minute. Aren't you part fire type? Why? Why do you use a wasted move of doom of fucking what? You are a fire type. I f completely forgot. Not crunch. The captain will hate that. Why does Houndour do so much damage? Once again, I love that my HM slave is like my premier Pokemon. And then I'm just gonna headbutt you. Basically, what the Will-O-Wisp? What? That doesn't seem nice. Oh, it, it just added the burn effect. Good for you. I thought that was gonna do a lot more than just burn my zoom. It's not, it's Pokenav? Are you actually caveman lawyer? And I believe this should be match... Is it... Yeah, uh, I was gonna say number seven. But then my brain went, wait, wouldn't it be six? Show me that you're serious. Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. But you're gonna throw out a bunch of fighting types again and make... No, you're gonna throw out a Graveler. Ah, fuck. That thing's gonna explode, isn't it? Surf, 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 surf. Lanoon, you surf and kill. It's swap effective. I didn't even get a chance. And you're ground type, so this should hurt you too, right? 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 Good. Oh crap, it didn't do that much. Not the sandstorm again. We've only gotten like one hail and a billion sandstorms. And that desert has hurt my soul. Because everybody had a goddamn sand true or sand slash in there. Everybody should have suffered like me. All those goddamn picnickers. That's just a strange character type in this game. The picnicker. 
the person who goes on picnics in a sandstorm. Another surf. Drown his sand slash. Drown it now. Well, that's not nice at all. We'll have to kill the giant cactus. <laughs> Aw. Is it, is it because of the sandstorm? Does that lower accuracy? Why did that do so much damage? Okay, good. Headbutt. It's the last move you get to do because the sandstorm is pro- Oh, ha <laughs> ha! Huzzah! The sandstorm ended when it would have killed Zoom. Uh, oh, yes. Headbutt again! Somehow Zoom decided I am not going to die today. You're perfect in every way! Zoom just said, I don't hear no bell. Just refused to die. Headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. Po pound that the thick fat on my belly drum. No, I don't think I will. I assume you're going to use the Makuhita evolved form. And no, you're using a Politoed. I'm going to murder you and your family. Why would they do so little damage? Oh, God. Keep it flinching, please. Flinch for days. Flinch for days. Flinch it to death. Yes, please. Miracle of miracles, ah, shit. I mean, I did literally do three rounds of damage against him because he kept being flinched. I don't think I get to complain at all. Please break through the confusion. Huh. And it literally granted the damage necessary to probably kill him in that. Interesting. Aren't you that thing? Oh wait, no, you're- <laughs> I got the swagger damage buff and only one round of confusion. Jesus. Zoom is on a roll. Zoom is just out here saying, I'm going to annihilate everything. Zoom saying, <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. I just, it, it, it feels, oh, that's not good. And it's a water type, a water rock. Oh, dear God. I wonder if that means I should use my uh, rock smash. Oh, that did. That didn't do much at all. It did lower its defense. How much damage is that gonna do? A fucking lot. Let's throw in the psychic. <laughs> ah, but it's probably because of the rain. The rain made... Why? But the rain powered up the hydro pump, which is probably why it one shot. Poor, poor Zoom. And you use Protect on your last round, you fool. Your last round of Empowered Hydra Pump, and you failed. You use Protect, you idiot. Hmm. Why are you using Protect now? Why do, why are, why do so many Pokemon in this game no Protect? Seriously, it's so many of them, I don't understand. And now it started that up. Even though it's probably just going to use freaking Hydro... Uh, not even... It's not going to use Hydro Pump. It's going to use Protect again if it could. But now it lost. Goodbye, Gabriel. My belly drum was too weak. You didn't even use the move! Congratulations. I got more battle points. Yay. No, thank you. Now I'm gonna quickly look. How many? How much of a streak do I need to get through? And apparently there are other places of interest on this place. That's interesting. 
Kind of odd that the Battle Frontier place doesn't really talk much about the each one, really. Oh, wait. Here we go. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven. Let's see. Upon winning the seventh battle, the player would be given a prize. Let's see. Ba 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 ba. Appears as the 35th and 70th opponent. And the ba the last battles in the 5th and 10th passes through the tower, respectively. Jesus. This is an endurance. I'm already on my third run, so... A part of me is wondering if I should just settle for... Getting the silver. And apparently this Frontier Brain only shows up on the single battles path anyway, which is kind of interesting. Well, let's go. Come on, playtime is over. It's you again! Why would they- why do they give these guys such weird lines if they're, like, gonna reuse them? It's obviously different Pokemon, but still. Headbutt! Flinch more! Flinch more! I should probably give... Oh, no. Because the... The silk scarf works really good for you, but god, the <laughs> it would be amazing to maybe use like the king's crown on you because that would raise the chances of the diddly d flinching happening. Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. But uh, seismic top is supposed to be a fighting type move, right? Why did that super affect my zoom? Oh, that's not good. Oh, focus band. That's what you did. Interesting. Now die. And now we're going to be subjected to the low health thing for a bit. Ah, the generation two counterpart. Die. Flinch more. Well, critical hit too. Ah, but no flinch. So zoom die. Profound sadness. In this town of Wales. Throw some mist at it. Why? Why does everything no protect? It is such a useless move. Like, unless you are predicting... Because that's the thing. Okay, follow me. What does that do? Became the center of attention. So I guess the, that's a double battle move here. That's a double battle move that you just used, you fool. But yeah, protect just seems like a weird move. It just seems like a weird, weird move. Like, I can understand it from a I'm going to predict what my opponent is going to do kind of thing. Screech is like music to me. I think you're a psychopath. Well, you are a maniac. Venomoth! That's the motherfucker that super poisoned one of my Pokemon in Generation... Was it one or two? I just know that there was a Venomoth that poisoned a Pokemon of mine, and because I didn't understand the poison mechanic, my Pokemon just stayed out forever getting healed and getting super poisoned at the end, and that made me think that there was, like, two different types of poison. Or, like, if poison was inflicted by a specific move, like Toxic, it was actually super duper poison or something? I don't know. Brain is odd sometimes. Make the bug a flinch. No! Zoom is dead. Oh, 
I shall send in shame. But yeah, I find it hilarious, though, that the original plan was to catch the legendaries to try and use as the trio for the, uh, for the frontier, when in actuality, all the legendaries apparently are banned in the, in the frontier. Begone, masquerade. Go. Ah, oh, Jesus. That is, that is a lot of not much damage. And you're gonna stun like a bitch. Do you have levitate? Let's try earthquake. Let's let's have some fun. I don't think I'm gonna have much fun. Yep, it doesn't affect it because it's probably like part flying. Sadness. Goodbye, Shane. This might be the end of our streak, actually. Fuck. That's kind of bullshit, having a monotype team like a bitch. Like a bitch. Like a little bitty bitch bitch. It's what you are, Bug Maniac. You're a bitch. Luckily, Lottie will hopefully kill you. Just don't, don't paralyze Lottie into hell. You're a bitch. Bug Maniac Man. You are an annoying bug man, you know that? Why is that super effective? You are an annoying little man. Thank God you didn't live with one HP. That's the closest I came to losing. And I need your soundproof? You didn't even do anything sound-based! But yeah, kind of wish that you could swap out your Pokemon like normal battles. Briny? Every battle has a smell. I don't like you, fake briny. Oh, hey, a, 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 a sprite we haven't seen. It is kind of disappointing that you can't swap out Pokemon in this whenever you beat a Pokemon. They'll be like, ah, oh, they're going to send out a Pokemon. You can't really... You can't really have strategy too much in this. What was the wish? Alright. You wish to... The wish seems like a pointless move. You're gonna use two... Then again, it was... It's kind of a delayed heal, but it didn't... I don't understand. Bayleaf! Adorable. Oh, you know Toxic. Maybe it's a good thing that Ash didn't love you back. But the thing is, I don't want to swap out Pokemon because I want to, like, use all my moves. Use every turn as efficiently as possible. Another headbutt. Of course, you live with one HP because the world is lies, and that's probably gonna kill. Yep. And you got a critical hit to boot. You don't deserve critical hits. And we shall send Lottie in. Swoik it! Who are you going to send in for your third? Aquilava. Adorable. Mist Ball. And does good damage. Because it's a critical hit. Ha <laughs> ha! The awful stench of a loss. What is your deal? Ding, ding, ding. My night school is really scary. Is it because you're a ghost and you go to ghost school? Oh boy, are you going to use protect at me again? Headbutt. Flinch more. Flinch eternally. Flinch unto the... Oh, that's probably going to kill. Kill. 
It did. In the future, when I know I'm up against a super effective, I should really swap out. Like, if it's a... N but at the same time, I don't want to... Why? Why does a tech exist? It is a worthless fucking move. It just wastes everybody's goddamn time. Well, at the same time, I guess it also renders some Pokemon enemies completely brain dead. So maybe it's not a bad thing for me. Yeah, I hit him on top. It's been a bit. Missed ball. But fine, in the future I will try to be more type conscious. And another critical hit. Lottie is just dealing them out today, huh? Again with that creepy face. We must remove that face from your face. Goodbye. Die. How dare you live? You are meant to die. Oh no, it's doing its opening... Came out of the Pokeball animation again. That's why it's a scary face. Psychic. The homework is awfully scary. Fair enough. Homework is evil. If you can't teach the children in the school day, well then... That's on you. Why do you have a bike in here? That's illegal. What should I do today? Die. Become a ghost. Go to the ghost school. Oh, hey, a Togetek. It looks quite nice. Now it must die. Silly fool, this isn't a double battle. Although you are quite resilient. And then I got a critical hit. What is with critical hits today? There have been so many critical hits, and why are you doing follow me again? This isn't a double battle. What is wrong with you? That was weird. Oh, no. Okay, time to swap. -o. Lottie, come out. We're being smart today because we're on our third run, and we want to actually fight the Frontier Brains. We want to actually fight them. And after we get through this, I'm actually going to look up if there's a point to the golden... diddly D, the golden badges of the Frontier. Because it could just be, like, a bragging rights reward. What was that that avoided levitate? What? I, I just kind of glossed over that and my mind just went bleh. I will continue to use Mist Ball on your computers. Actually, it's kind of odd that this is the first Porygon that we've seen so far. Agility! And you're going to eat something. You are a computer code. How do you eat anything? You are not real. You are not a real boy. Pinocchio, but it's a Porygon. Die. I will go play a game. Good for you. That's healthy. But yeah, personally, I, I think like having the thing be like... The 5th and 10th runs is a bit extreme. I don't allow Pokemon to thrash. Is it because you always keep them... Their power points up? I don't think I have much to worry about from you. Headbutt. Make it flinch. Or just kill it. <laughs> well, that's a poor sign. Whenever it does that, bad things tend to happen. Like a Hydra Pump. Uh, except when it's raining. When it's raining, it's a Hydra Pump. With that, uh, I fear. Oh. Oh. Synthesis probably is a normal healing move, but when tied with Sunny Day, it's probably super good. 
And I have nothing that's really good against grass flying. Make it flinch. Aw, oh, shit. All because you know a heal move. How dare that do so much damage? I know that it's sunny out, but that just means that it's more illegal. Die. How dare you know a heal move? That's illegal here. There's no health care in the battle tower. You better not send out, like, a rainstorm and then do a super water move. That would be mean. But I am lowering your... Ah, oh, crap. All of your Pokemon are going to be the same goddamn thing, isn't it? You know what? I can deal with this. I'm going to swap out to Shane. Oh, that's double mean. The game read me. That's bullshit. The game knew. The game fucking knew that I was going to throw out. Then again, no, because Latias is not a psychic flying. It's a dragon psychic. What the fuck do you mean that it's not a water type, ass game? My entire thing was based off of the presumption that this motherfucker was a gr fucking water type. What do you mean it's not super effective? That's bullshit, and you know it, game. That is very annoying. It is a water Pokemon. It looks like a giant fish. It used a water thing, and just like, lol, I'm actually not a water type. Or for whatever reason, it's just immune from grass attacks for some reason, which is stupid. Please get, like, a crit and kill it. Oh, yeah, because that's super fair game. Jesus fucking Christ. But yeah, that is just very stupid. It is a fish. Why? Is it not affected by grass type moves? That's just dumb. And Giga Drain, hopefully. Please take a bunch of health. Get like a crit or something. Damn it. But at least you're a poison type, so you should be affected by psychic very easily. But I think, I think, think that's very dumb. That is very, very dumb. It is a fish, it is in the water, it did a bunch of water moves. Why the hell is it not a water type? Or at least, why is it not affected by grass? It's very silly. Why is it so hard? Shut up, you're an asshole. I'm gonna throw you off this goddamn tower. I have this excellent camera. I'm gonna break your camera. And your bones. Why is your gr jacket red in here when it was green on the overworld? Well, that's bothersome. What? Uh, surf? Why did you get to go first? I wanted to do a thing. I wanted to do surf while you were underground. Why is... A speed boost? Why do you have speed boost? Why... Why are you illegal? Why, though? You are very annoying. Please get like a crit and kill it. Thank you. That was very dumb. 
It just has an ability that raises its speech every fucking time. That should be illegal. And Megahorn, that's gonna do a lot of damage. But yeah, I think that's dumb that it could do that. It's very, very dumb. Why is it just like, I have infinite speed? No, that's illegal. Go home. For some reason, I didn't expect that to be uh, super effective. Uh, why are we double super effective against each other? And why does that just... Why did, why did that just fucking kill? Fuck off, game. I am going to start using save states, game, if this is how you're going to be a bitch. Why is it doing so little damage, game? That's very dumb. That was supposed to kill. Fuck off. That is very fucking dumb. Why is the game just being an asshole? This Pokemon's gonna go super fucking fast for no fucking reason. Maybe I should have tried Earthquake. Oh no, it's actually normal damage, even though that's not much. I guess we could try Earthquake just to see what the hell. And you have leftovers. Please do lots of damage. What the fuck do you mean that didn't do much? What the fuck? That was a game you are being very fucking dumb and I hate it. This is dumb. Game. Why the fuck did Earthquake do so little damage? What the fuck? Game, why is this fucking thing so tanky? This is bullshit. And yeah, I'm gonna start using save states if this is what the game's gonna fucking throw at me. This is just insane. Why is it so fucking tanky? Why did just the fucking... It wasn't even like a not effective, it's just the earthquake did nothing. For the love of God, please. Please kill it. Get like a crit, please. Jesus Christ, that was close. All because the game was very mean with that layout. That was dumb. That was very dumb. A ninja -esque thing that's just like eternal speed. A one hit mega horn. Maybe it's just always a one hit kill. And then that last thing that's just like, I'm gonna take no damage from freaking. <laughs> yeah, because no game. No. No, I refuse. I refuse to be a victim. Oh, hey, uh. Hello, you're the trainer who just had a battle, right? I'm gathering interviews of trainers all over the place. May I get a few words about your impressions on battling? You will really thank you. Then, uh, how did things turn out in the battle tower today? Were you satisfied with the battle, or are you, or are you unhappy? I guess satisfied that I survived? Well, of course. That unmistakable look of satisfaction on your face. It's obvious that you've had a great battle. Oh, oh may I ask you one more question? If you were to describe your impression about the bat this battle for one thing, what would it be? I wish that there was just, like, pain. But let's see, in battle, let's see. <laughs> Come on! Exactly! Come on! <laughs> oh, that's a stunningly cool, that's a great line. I hope you'll do a great next time, too. I hope to see you again. Uh, I guess let's talk to everyone here, just as a little break to myself. Once you've entered the battle tower, you can't leave until you either lose or you beat seven trainers in a row. You'd best be certain that you're up to the challenge. The number of matches you win in a row is recorded. I better not get beaten in an embarrassing way. Excuse me, but do you have a moment? Can you describe your feelings when you're about to begin a battle tower match or when you've either won or lost a match? I won! What do you feel when you've won a match? 
Let me guess, it's like, only change one thing? Hmm. Let's see if I can change a bunch of things. <laughs> Just come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll make this man fear us. We'll make him fear the world in the future. He will not know a single thing. But come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so that's how you feel? That's quite original. Thanks! <sighs> that's just very... Very annoying game. My current win streak is 21. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Open level. Once again, Zoom, Shane, Lottie. Oh, that's just so painful, though. That is just so painful. I almost lost. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... Because, like, I don't think that I'll do a super shenanigans of, like, save stating between battles, but I will save state between each run. Are you feeling my heat wave? I'm gonna throw you into the ice shelf. But it's just like... Oh, no. Make that brick fucking flinch. And that was just a fucking critical. Oh, no. Keep making it flinch. Keep making it flinch. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. That's a heal move. Why does it heal so much? Rock smash. Why is it such a useless move? Why? Why game? Why? Why does it have a heal move? That's just bullshit. That is bullshit that it can heal to full like that. It is also bullshit that my Fucking fighting move, Rock Smash, is worthless. This is bullshit. And this is why I fucking used a save state. Because fuck you, game. You are bullshit with this shit. Italy he, I'm gonna do bullshit. Ha ha ha, this is why I'm gonna use save states. Good, you don't deserve to succeed at anything. No enemy should have heal moves. Only I should have heal moves. Only I am allowed to have heal moves. And I forgot that I have the move Refresh. I could have gotten rid of, like, the paralysis things that have occasionally affected Lottie. Well, that's not good. But wait, she's dra- is, is Dragon weak to ice or something? It's not like I could just move over to Shane because he's also weak to ice. Quit spamming Icy Wind, asshole. Get a new move. Only I'm allowed to spam moves ad nauseum. Wait, I, I should have used Recover there. I keep forgetting that I have other things besides just offensive moves. Oh, you're a bitch. That's bullshit! It shouldn't affect retroactively. That's bullshit. Genuine bullshit there, game. It used Mirror Coat after I had attacked. Why did it do anything? Such bullshit. And again, reason why I fucking did that now. I was like, oh, I could go through normally. No, the game is starting to throw bullshit. It'll already be painful to have to redo seven moves, or like seven battles... If I lose one. Uh, 
But that is just a just shenanigans. You can't attract him. He's fucking unconscious. That's bullshit. That should only work on awake opponents. Illegal move. Find that Lapras $10,000 and throw it into prison and may its children never live. You better still fucking attack. Good. It knows two annoying moves. It knows sing and it knows attract. And it knows confuse, right? Why? Why? So it has to get past confusion that it needs to get back. Kill it, please. Fuck. That's so bullshit. Why do you have three annoying ass moves? You goddamn game. Break through the confusion, please. Break through the love and kill. Fuck off. This is bullshit. Because all of this shit fucking stacks for some reason. Why does it fucking stack? Let me guess, he's going to wake up and he's still going to be confused somehow, even though he would have been to sleep, and that should have cleared his head. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit and shouldn't be allowed. Break through the confusion, break through the love, and kill. Please. There's just such an annoying way to fight. Now please break through the confusion and the love here. Because they have been in activation forever. Good. Please break through. Thank you. That is just so annoying. I have half a mind to use save states after that because fuck that waste of time shenanigans. Confuse Ray, Attract, and Sing as three moves. Three moves dedicated purely to annoying me. Why? I wish you would not glare. I don't even have that move. Please don't be annoying like the last guy. Alright, so flying bug type, I believe. You're gonna be annoying, aren't you? Fuck off, game. That never works for me. Enemy does double team. Oh, but when I do double team, I always they always hit me anyway. It's only occasional just luck. I really should start just fucking saving in between matches because this is bullshit game. Will you fuck off? I should have hit by now, game. I'm the player. And of course it knows a move that always hits, and why did that do so much fucking damage? Fuck off. This is bullshit. Eternal bullshit upon thee. Bad game, you're really advocating for me to really save state in between battles. Fuck off, it was one double team. Since this guy knows double team, he should have no moves that are super effective. And why is it a one-hit fucking kill? Fuck off. That's bullshit. I'm mostly annoyed because of the fucking Lapras still. Why is he going first, too? That's illegal. Why is it just one-hit kill, apparently? Oh, a critical hit. I'm gonna give you a critical shit. Watch this. Fuck off. The game can cheat, I can cheat too. Because genuinely, that's a bunch of bullshit game.
You just do way too much fucking bullshit with that. Fuck off. If my goddamn double team doesn't work for shit nine times out of ten, it shouldn't work for them either. Because when I try to do it, most of the time, they just hit nickel anyway. It's only in very rare situations that they manage to be missing a million times in a row. Loudred probably has a sweet scent. No, it's just very loud. You are probably a psychopath. Man, there's just way too much shenanigans going on here. It should have flinched by then. If I missed a lot due to that double team, this guy should be flinched to death. How dare you, game. Breaking the rules. At least it... Why did that do so much fucking damage, game? Why is this guy, like, actually a level 100 in disguise here, game? Zoom should have woken up now. Like, over half their health has been annihilated. They should have woken up. And why a critical hit? You're obviously cheating, game. Quit cheating, game. What are you gonna do? Actually give this guy just magic? From now on, game, I expect every... Sp sp uh, what's the word? I already forget what it's fucking called. Brain is just dying. But super effective. Every single super effective attack should just immediately kill everything ever. Because that's what you did to me, game. Why the fuck does it know Ice Punch? And why, again, why is it super effective against fucking Latios? It is Dragon Psychic. Why is, like, Dragon weak to Ice? Is it because, like, it's a lizard? The fuck is wrong with you? Maybe I should swap Shane out with somebody else, but I don't know who. That way there's, like, less possibility for, like, a single type to steamroll my team once Zoom goes down. But it's just very shenanigan-y game. Where's my critical hit that just randomly kills? And why do you use Psychic now? What's wrong with you? All I had to have done was one more Fire Punch or Ice Punch and it would have killed Shane. You are an odd Grumpig. Well, might as well get some health back. Problem won't be much, though. It's not much. How dare that grass type be super effective against a grass type? That should be illegal. Now, missed ball. Be gone, you evil monster. I work at the department store. I hope you get fired. Honestly surprised that this isn't just like a super gauntlet where they don't even heal your Pokemon. It's this guy again. Oh fuck, it's this guy again. I remember you being a pain in the ass. Or at least somebody who said that line. Or was it somebody else? I'm already starting to get variant frickin' pain and miseries up in here. I'm starting to associate people with agony. Where was my critical hit that would have killed it before it healed? Well, this is very much a repeat of last time. It used Wish and then used Wish again, even though Wish was already active. And now Silverwind, because everything has that, apparently.
And I will definitely need to swap some, like, swap out Shane for somebody else to be super effective against others. I'm trying to think of who. I could always bring in... Ba ba ba. Could always bring in Nickel for Aerial Ace more than anything. I don't think Night Fang because Night Fang is not super grand in the, like when it comes to battle. He's more of like a semi brick wall than anything. Okay, that's bullshit. How dare Wish work on other Pokemon? That should be illegal. Only one Wish per Pokemon, and that Pokemon made a Wish, but it affected another Pokemon. That violates the Wish rules. Also, how dare it be faster than Zoom? That is also illegal. How dare. Hmm. But who else could I potentially use to replace Shane? Because my brain is just on fire. Because again, there's Nickel, probably not Night Fang, definitely not our Gardevoir Luna. Ah, uh, please don't say that you're also an eternal speed machine. That'd be fucking stupid. Please don't be an eternal speed machine. Why are you an eternal speed machine? And you're gonna survive with one hit, aren't you? You're just trying to survive until you outspeed me, aren't you? Okay, you fucking better go down. Because it'd be like, oh, you can't survive if you have one HP left. That is bullshit! That is genuinely bullshit! Why? How, why can it do that? Why can it fucking do that? That's stupid! Why can you endure when you have one HP? That should be illegal. If you... Good, fucking die. That's stupid. That's worse than protect, honestly. That is genuinely so dumb. Why can you endure when you have one HP? Like, sure, apparently it has a chance to miss, but it's apparently not as much as protect. That's dumb. What the hell? Mocktillery. Kill it. Make it flinch. Flinch the octopus to death. How dare you. We could maybe throw in ba ba ba. Striker. Why does a f water type know fucking fire blast? That's dumb. And the world is mean. How dare you? Probably shouldn't send him out because it fucking has bullshit, but meh. What the fuck do you mean it missed? Game that's bullshit. What made it miss? At least it also missed. I think that's the... F I'm trying to think. Is that the first time that an AI has missed on its own volition today? Why do you have Aerial Ace? You are a crab! That's super dumb, and you're probably gonna live because you're an asshole, too. Now, please, let me go first. God damn it. 
That should be illegal game. It is not a flying Pokemon. Why does it have Aerial Ace? Like some moves, it kind of makes sense. But other times it's dumb. Like why can a Lanoon learn? What, what do you mean it doesn't? You are a fucking asshole game. Well, fucking time to reset again because this game's an asshole. Fuck off. Once again, getting real close to save stating between fucking fights because this is bullshit game. Not using you again because it's cursed. So we have to do this, and I guess we'll use Striker to fucking try some things. Such fucking bullshit. Oh, sorry, fucking Crawdon is immune to Psychic, but a fucking Mantine or whatever the hell it was called is like, hey, I'm not actually a water type, even though I'm a water type. <laughs> stupid rules, game. Very stupid rules. I'm going to throw you off this fucking place and glare at your grave every single day. You deserve to die a painful death. First time seeing a Venusaur, that's neat. Nobody I think we have, well maybe. You are annoying. I'm going to try and send out Lottie to maybe see, because I don't know. Maybe it's part poison. Maybe the game will just be like randomly biggity ba for some reason, I don't know. I have no idea. So let's just try random bullshit. If we run into one more annoying trainer who does shenanigans and wins because of those shenanigans instead of actually being strong, I'm gonna start saving in between goddamn fights. For pure fuck you. Why is a frickin' Crawdon to come out to be part Dark-type and immune? That should be illegal. Ah, uh, great, it's the giant asshole of Leftovers, who is just, like, immortal. Will you please just magically die? Why do you have so much health? Huh. Ah, I was expecting to have Leftovers. Ah, there we go. I figured that the leftovers would happen before the sunshine is sunshine and You are very annoying. How dare you have leftovers? No NPC should have leftovers, not even on the battle frontier. Only I should have leftovers. And the Battle Frontier should allow me to have all the leftovers for all of my Pokemon. How dare you have leftovers and confuse Ray. You are evil and you deserve death. You deserve to be set on fire. Get a crit and kill him. Damn it. Yeah. Is that like your only damaging move? Aside from maybe... Oh, and there goes the confusion. Thank you. Good job, Lottie. You're an annoying brick wall and nobody loves you. The oh, hell, this motherfucker again. Let me guess, you have that ability or whatever that makes you go super speed. Because, you know, that's fair. Just free stat increases at the end of every round. And you're doing that shit again. I, once again, endure shouldn't be a thing. Because it's just enduring. Please miss your Endure. Thank you. The mere fact that it did like three Endures in a row 
when I first faced it when it was doing Endure. It was annoying. Very tempted to save. But I'm going to try and at least be slightly fair. I don't allow Pokemon to thrash upgrades this guy again. This is the asshole with the water type that's not a water type. Alright. First things first, we're definitely moving over to Striker. Please don't do Earthquake or something. Then it please. Haha, you used Protect and there was nothing to protect yourself from, idiot. Come on, it already used Protect. It's supposed to fail. Oh well, but it didn't actually do it. Go oh, fuck off. It used Protect, it should fail on the second use. At least it dies now. What do you mean it's not gonna fucking die? It's a steel type. Fuck off, game. The one time where Earthquake on Shane would be super useful. But the game just decided no. Why can it protect multiple times in a row? It is just wasting everybody's fucking time. Stop it. Fuck off. And again, its steel type should be affected by thunder more effectively. This is dumb. Why do you have Earthquake? It's what kills you. That's dumb as hell, game. That is super fucking dumb. Now please die. Again, it's steel type. Metal conducts electricity. Just like water should be dead. Get thunderbolted, please, to death. Also, why are you a level 60 Charmeleon? How dare you be able to use Flamethrower despite being paralyzed. And getting a critical hit. You deserve to be thrown into a river. Forever. Until you're dead. Kill him. I forget. Good. For some reason, the shell design... Well, that's not good at all. Make him flinch, please. Good. Now forever make him flinch until he is dead. Because he doesn't deserve any stat increases. Because he is an illegal little shell man. Why is this so hard? Because you're a terrible person and you deserve to die. But yeah, I think I will real. How about a tiny bit of hypnosis? How about no? Rapist? Yeah, I think I might just settle for the silver badges. Because the game is being quite stupid and mean with the frontier already. Why did it miss? That is a dumb game. That is really dumb. None of my moves should miss. I am god of this world. And that is but a cast form. With balls. Ah, oh, great. It's this guy. I forget. Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, you... Hmm. Because you're probably not going to do much anyway. Let's try to flinch him to death. Well, he missed anyway. Make him flinch. 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 Aw. Now, if, because he's probably, like, let's just try it out. It's probably not going to work. The game's probably going to laugh at me, but let's try it. Why does everything have protect? Why? That's so fucking dumb. It is so dumb. Why does everything insist on having protect? At least it can hit. Good. 
Even though being like part rock type, it's still super affected. And it lives with one HP because that's fucking fair. Quit using protect. It is a worthless move in you. Just say that you skip your move. And let me kill you. Be gone. Right. Oh, hey, it's this asshole. Well, let's see. Will lightning work on you? How about it? Let's see. Why? Why are you, like, apparently resistant to grass moves in that it's not super effective, it just becomes normal? Oh, that's just so stupid. Opponent number four. They overdo that gourmet thing. What does that even mean? Do you hate food? Sending out a tentacool. I'm gonna send out Lottie and kill you. Especially because Lottie can recover from any poison, well, refresh herself from any poison, and recover any damage you do. Psychic. Be gone, alien. Why does everything have icy wind, too? At least it didn't do much damage. Your stats must be terrible. Please die. Why did you get to go first? That's illegal. Well, you see, I lowered your speed. That's still illegal. Go to hell. Go to super hell. Go and burn in boiling water, I guess. Not this motherfucker. Recover. Why do you go first? How dare you? You shouldn't be able to go first. That is the most illegal kind of thing. But fine, we're gonna send out Striker and we're gonna paralyze you and then hopefully murder you to death. You're an annoying little man. Oh look, nothing happened because you're stupid. You're a very dumb little tank, aren't you? Why do you keep using counter? Stop. But it failed. <laughs> you, I don't understand why. Is it because thunder is like a, a thunderbolt is a specific type of move that like it can't counter the electric damage? Also, it should have been paralyzed there. Just say in game. Finally, it's done a thing. Even though really... Why did it do so much fucking damage, game? Why hasn't it been paralyzed once, game? Get a crit and kill it, please. Because the game's cheating by not letting it be paralyzed at all, apparently. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? The Pokemon who is frickin' paralyzed didn't get paralyzed once and killed my Pokemon. What lovely fun. This is truly the most fair thing in the world. Oh, the enemy does evasion. It works. I do, and then it doesn't die. Become flinched and paralyzed eternally for all your sins. Finally. Only after he killed one of my Pokemon, because for some reason Facade does a million damage, apparently. Why do you have Protect, you asshole? Stop it. Why can it work twice in a row? That should be illegal. And why is it resistant? It shouldn't be. This is going to be the match that convinces me to save in between goddamn matches, isn't it? Because the game is being super shenanigan-y. Why did that do so much fucking damage, game? 
Why are you an asshole? Should probably use Recover, but at the same time, this guy is probably an asshole who does a million billion damage anyway, so it won't really matter in the end. Now please kill it with Psychic. Thank God. Hey, this is pretty tasty. And I'm done. I am done putting faith in this game. I am going to start save stating. Because there's too many protects, too many shenanigany things going on. Your secret can't be hidden forever. <laughs> By what? I'm using an emulator for this. What, do you expect everyone to go and buy game cubes? Uh, let's try Rock Smash. Lowers defense a bit. Except it didn't. God damn it. Break through the confusion, please. While it loafs around. Break through. God damn it, game. Wow, would you look at that? The game's cheating again. Wow, would you look at that? The game really is cheating again. Oh, when I paralyze an enemy, it doesn't work forever until it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, but when the enemy uses confusion, suddenly I am the victim of it eternally. This is bullshit. I hate you. And this is also why I'm starting to save between battles, because this is indeed bullshit. Ah, yes, not very effective. Does over 40 damage. Truly fair and balanced. Please die eternally. Hey, paralysis finally worked in a time that matters. You horrendous little monkey man sloth. Well, you just sent out the worst Pokemon for that. Let me guess. It's gonna do, like, no damage at all, and then it's gonna one-shot me. Did fairly decent damage. And then a Usurper for some reason. I wonder why. Oh, wow! <laughs> Would you look at that? It did indeed one-shot me, because this game is goddamn bullshit. Now, please, die. I really miss, like, Legends Arceus' system. Legend Arceus was so good. Why is it one-shotting all my Pokemon? That shouldn't be legal. Why does Ice super effective against Dragon? That just makes no sense at all. Now, please... Don't be a bitch like the last Lapras I had to fight. Please don't have Sing and all that. At the same time, though, it would be kind of neat if that was your only damaging move. But at the same time, if it was your only damaging move, there would be a lot of stuff. Oh, but you wouldn't be able to use Attract all that well, so that would be nice. Thank you for missing that. Kind of annoying that you play that animation every single time. Yay, a critical! I was about to ask for one. Big on, Satan! You can't safeguard your own secret. What do you mean you can't? That is literally the perfect secret if only you know it. But I'm going to quickly look. I want to know, is there anything special about the gold badges? Let's see. Battle Frontier. Let's see. Uh, 
I just want to know. Because, again, if there's nothing special about it... Let's see. Somebody asked on Game Facts, what happens after I beat all Frontier and get their gold emblems? You get another star on your trainer card, so you've basically completed the Frontier. And that's it. So yeah, we'll probably just stop at Silver, because... I don't really care. I wish to see the news! Then why are you here? If you wish to see the news, there are like... Uh, TVs down below. Eh. But yeah, it's just like at least this frontier. Like maybe it's just this, like uh, the battle tower. Maybe the other ones will be more interesting and invigorating. That I will want to try and get their gold, but I don't really care to get the gold battle tower badge. Because it doesn't feel like a you-need-to-be-a-better-battler situation. It just really feels like the game. And I forgot to do my, my save. But considering that he is annihilated, things shouldn't be too bad. Sand Slash. Let's see. How good is Psychic against you? Worst comes to worst, we can just throw... Zoom in to annihilate you a bit with some Surf. But I don't think that will really matter much. Then again, you probably know some rock moves, and rock moves could destroy Latias. But yeah, there's just something about the Battle Tower. Haha! Good thing we did that. Please don't um, inexplicably one-shot Zoom. I had a psychic premonition. <laughs> What do you mean it missed? Game, you're an asshole. Wow, would you look at that? The game's a fucking asshole. Fucking cheating. That surf should have hit. Ah, oh, well, you see, the, the sandstorm lowers visibility. Does it look like I care? The surf should have hit. It is literally, by definition, basically a mini tsunami. How does it miss? You're telling me that a tsunami just inexplicably misses people at random? How dare you, sand slash little bitch? And random jump bluff. And the sandstorm has subsided. How convenient for you, little jump bluff. How very convenient indeed. And thank you for reminding me, yes, I should use recover against you, jump bluff. And then you're gonna do, like, a super megaton punch and one-shot Latios somehow. Recover. Oh, no, you bitch. I'm gonna raise my evasion so you can't play the game. My favorite thing in the world. One shot it inexplicably for me. Get a critical hit, maybe. I better land every single attack against you. Just as a form of recompense game. I fucking better. Why is it just a super healing bastard? Why do you have leftovers? Get a crit, please. Why? Why is this a lame-ass motherfucker? 
I'm going to leech seed you. Then I'm going to raise my evasion. Then I'm going to put you to sleep. I sure do love Pokemon whose entire build is to just never play the goddamn game. That's my favorite fucking thing in the world. Part of me says I should probably send out Striker, but it probably doesn't even matter. I hate you. I should have woken up from that. Having somebody dance around with Devil Team would definitely wake anybody up. Now I better wake up and activate shit game, especially because the fucking jump bluff has healed the fool again! Good. Don't you fucking dare you sleep powder again, I fucking swear. How many times can you use double team? Bleach seed should fucking go away. You know what? Fuck it. You annoy me. I'm gonna fucking paralyze you at the very least. Except I probably won't because the game's gonna be an asshole and be like, Well, you see, it used a bunch of evasion shit. Even though that should be illegal. Uh, Leech Seed should be a one power point move. Because it shouldn't be able to do that. That should be legal. At least there's that. Why does it know Giga Drain? It doesn't fucking need it. Also, should have been paralyzed. But no. Game, you're an asshole. I wanted to go and do Thunderbolt, but then it's just like, no, you're going to use Thundershock. I sure do love not being able to play the game with all these slow animations. Doesn't even matter. He's fast asleep anyway. There's just far too many fucking waiting going around here. Why does it know Giga Drain? It shouldn't know Giga Drain. Leech Seed shouldn't activate because it's at full health. Now, miss, I guess. Ah, oh, yeah, you did it. Good. Would have been nice if it was inexplicably super effective. Please don't die by Leech Seed. That's bullshit. Why does it know Giga Drain? Why is it so annoying like a bitch? And I only have limited um, fucking attacking moves. Why? 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 Why can't I get any crits when it matters and just one-shot this bitch? I'm going to use goddamn bullshit. I should immediately wake up from stress more than anything. How dare Leech Seed activate on the turn that it's planted to. Fucking knows. Giga Drain has bullshit moves that are just annoying to deal with. Fuck off. The thing, the main thing that's just super annoying about this bullshit is that it's so goddamn long. I'm going to use the fast forward feature. Fuck off. You are taking way too long. You asshole game. It just, your turns take way too long, Jump Bluff. They take way too long. Friggin' swear. And look, it's back to full health, and I have, like, no moves. It's just goddamn annoying, and we're back to this. The fact is just that it's just taking so fucking long, it's so annoying. The leech seed animation. 
the leftovers animation and it's just so slow and it just keeps fucking healing itself why i hate this who designed this bullshit And it's probably gonna be back to full again. It's just why? Why? Why are you being paralyzed now than when it would have mattered? Goddamn asshole. And wow, it's back to full again. Because that's fucking fair. Eternal heal items. Eternally. Hopefully that's the last Giga Drain it has, even though it did like no damage. Actually, you know what? Why aren't you awake yet? You've been asleep for like five turns. Fuck off. This is just annoying. God damn you, game. These animations should go faster. I fucking swear there's way too many of them. Fuck you, I have recover. At this rate, you'll probably run out of power points, and I could probably just outlast your thrashing. I fucking hate you. Just speed up so we can get to try things. Because this one's just going on way too much. Just kind of get to the point where I can actually do things. What the fuck do you think of it? I hate you. Yes, yes, yes. Random bullshit. I just want to play the game. I am sick of this jump off. And I'm sick that it should have been dead five times over. Friggin' swear. I... Really, the, there doesn't need to be an animation for Leech Seed, I swear. Leech Seed does not need an animation. You are aggravating back to this again. Have to just go super speed. Because the game is bullshit and super heals the jump love every single goddamn time. I don't get to play the game. I don't get to play a game. Wow, would you look at that? Nothing has been accomplished. Except fucking annoyance. Of me. Please. Ah, fuck off. Back to this again. Should have woken up by now. Jesus fucking Christ. I think all it has is sleep powder now. And leech seed, I suppose. And now I have no moves to do anything, and now we are stuck in a loop of basically waiting for one of us to thrash to death first. This is stupid. Because I can't do anything. I can't do any attacks. I love this. Power Frontier is nothing but a waste of time, I guess. Oh no, is this before they... Yeah, this is before they changed it so struggle was percentage-based of your health, so... Fuck off. Sorry I'm late, I was uh, busy being shocked and happy that I got a PS5 as an early birthday present. Huzzah! 
grand news there! And as you go through the battle frontier, basically having to match its cheating, remember to stay hydrated. I just went through probably the dumbest Pokemon match to ever exist. Well, I was fighting a goddamn jump bluff. It's just like, I'm going to eternally heal myself. And even when it frickin' got to the point where it was struggling, because it had Leech Seed out, it wouldn't fucking die! Well, we know how to play this. We're gonna at least try, even though the game's a cheating bastard. We're gonna try. Gabriel Tuck, Jigglypuff, and Clefairy look so similar that as a kid I thought they were the same Pokemon. I don't think they're that similar. It's like saying Pichu and Pikachu look the same. To a degree. Granted, you could just, as a child, your brain probably just went big uh, bipedal pink thing instead of, like, the various small differences between them. How dare you have a heal? But it's my only unique signifying move. How dare you have a heal? You don't deserve heals. You deserve to fall into darkness. Yeah, that's right. Be paralyzed. Maybe I should start biting you. Hoping for flinches along the way. There was a flinch opportunity and a paralyzed opportunity and the game decided to do neither. Flinch. The problem is also, this thing has way too much frickin' health to have a heal move game. I get it, it is a unique move to this Pokemon. But it should not be able to heal that much when it has that much health and takes a long time to damage. <laughs> Same with Silcoon and Cascoon. <laughs> also, since Miltake has a healing move, that means it's drinking their own milk, which is disgusting. Maybe. It is kind of weird. Will you hurry up and die, please? Please, suffer and die. Be thrown off a cliff. That is probably one of the most useless critical hits I've gotten in this battle frontier. Oh, no, not you. Well, at least if I paralyze you, it is a, a long diddly dee. That's like a dreaming, uh, that's like a human drinking its own pee to heal. Milk Tank is... Oh, what's his name? I forget his name. It's a super duper, like, survivalist dude. He basically did that. Was that a critical hit? Yeah, that was a critical hit. It was like, that is going way too far for normal damage. Bear Grylls? Yes, exactly. And two critical hits in a row. Sorry, game, you can't flatter me. I have to work next week. I hope you work all week. For 40 hours straight, each day. You think that's impossible? Well, it is. Gotta do that because this game is evil! If it was just normal fighting, but no. These people are evil. They are devils. After that jump bluff, no. That jump bluff is the definitive definition of no. I refuse. Oh, hey, Umbreon. That's at least nice to see. Please don't be an utter bastard. I always find it annoying when a trainer uses a healing item move just as I'm about to kill my opponent. Like, honestly, I can deal with that. Sometimes. Especially after this, oh no, oh no, not another motherfucker that's going to do five billion diddly dee. That's not good enough for me. We're gonna, gonna have to paralyze you, break your kneecaps, and hope that you don't do that anymore. Please stop. I have no, no, don't want it. But yeah, after that jump bluff. Oh yeah, I forgot synchronize is a thing. God damn it. Oh, how nice game. Well, at least we're both paralyzed. At least there's parody. 
And that's just parody. Talk about synchronized. We each were paralyzed two times in a row. The great paralyzed dogs. And paralyzed three times in a row. Jesus. What jump left if I missed the start? Uh, well, not really the start because I think this is my... I forget what run we're on now. But there was a jump bluff who is the absolute pinnacle of bastarddom. It had sleep powder. It had leech seed. It, it had double team and giga drain. And it got to the point that my Latias was out of... Quit fucking missing game before I come and find you developers' kneecaps and steal them and sell them on the black market. You fuck. But yeah, there was a jump bluff, and it was basically the biggest lame going to piss you off asshole. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, no. God damn it. You're part ground type, so this is part <laughs> pain. But yeah, that jump bluff eventually got us into a situation where my Latias had no attacking moves, it had no attacking moves, and you know what it fucking did? Its leech seed kept healing it even as it struggled. Because, you know, that's smart game design. That it does like 10 damage to itself and then heals that 10 damage eternally. Utter shenanigans. Game, you're making the headbutt miss far too often. You, I'm on to you. Game, fuck off. How dare the earthquake hit, but none of the headbutts. And it's a one-hit kill, because of course it is. But yeah. The game is just very silly. You'd think that Leech Seed would be disabled once it frickin' gets hit by... Well, you're an asshole, aren't you? But yeah, you'd think that Leech Seed would be disabled upon struggle activating to basically, you know, let the game be fun. But that jump love was a little bitch. And that is why we are safe stating between battles. Because these motherfuckers are evil, and also potentially cheating. I fucking swear. Why does things keep missing, game? And why does he keep healing, game? The NPCs should never be able to heal at this rate, because they're just full of assholes. Game, fuck off. You missed 55 million times in a row. I would like to play the game. This is another reason why we save state between battles. Oh, so the moment I hit him, he wakes up. But when my Pokemon are asleep and they get hit 5 million times, they stay asleep. Totally fair. At least I understand with the berry that he was holding, that's actually nice strategy. Am I gonna be lamed out by a goddamn Swampert? When will he get, like, insomnia for having so much sleep that he's overrested? The worst moveset for me is a combination of Earthquake, Sleep Powder, Spore, Stun Spore, Thunder Wave, Disable, Imprison, Perish Song, and any healing, uh, healing item or move. Quit fucking missing, please. He is fucking asleep. How do you fucking miss? GAME! That's genuine bullshit. I am very annoyed that this motherfucker, as far as I have seen, has done nothing to his evasion, yet all of my moves keep missing! Here we are, once again, in the lame-ass combat zone. And use rest. Fuck off, I'm resetting again, because this is just lame-ass bullshit game.
Let me play the goddamn game. Please. This is, like, I didn't mind it mostly, for the most part, after I actually got my goddamn characters up to a decent point. Where everyone is now a decent level, everyone's fighting fairly, and then this game just went, oh, actually, we're gonna in introduce some bullshit. Hmm, I'm going to enjoy this bullshit, aren't I? Let me guess, this probably won't work, because he's, like, rock and flying, I suppose, but we might as well try. Try things at the very least. Let us see. And Leech Seed and Curse Ghost Users too. There's just so many possibilities of pure annoyance and evil. At least it died in one hit. Be gone, Satan. And a Steelix! Great. What do you mean it doesn't affect him? He's a steel type! I hate you, game. Ah, yes. Metal. The thing that conducts electricity. That shouldn't be affected by goddamn fucking much. Yeah. What is it? Like, ground and steel, I guess? But still, utter shenanigans. Especially because that's not gonna kill him. Because, you know, that's fair. How come none of my Pokemon only take one damage from Earthquake like that goddamn Craw Diddly or whatever? Still hate that psychic moves are just like, oh no, it's, it's metal. It resists <laughs> psychic, apparently. Which is just very dumb. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we use save states when the game starts being an asshole. Game is gonna be an asshole. We're gonna throw out our own. Oh, hey, you know Dragon Move. Why do you know a Dragon Move? Why did that do like? And why did it paralyze? That's also shame. <laughs> All of that is shenanigans. Just a conga line of madness. Why does the Steel Rock Man know Dragon Breath? Why does that then cause paralysis? And why is it because he is metal that he somehow resists psychic energies? Is it meant to be tinfoil? Is that what it is? Gim! And all of this solidifies. I am not going for the gold medals. I will get the silver, at least, of each one. And we'll probably have to dedicate a full stream to each and every diddly D. Why was that? What even? What even was that move in animation? I don't get you. But. Yes, what we will have to do is probably dedicate individual streams to each and every single frontier area. I thought, oh hey, maybe we'll be able to go and like do multiple frontier places in a stream. But no. Uh, and I'm a fool. Because I'm getting just fucking brain dead from the monotony of what this game is doing to me. is honestly hurting my brain from just how annoying this game is being currently. I wonder why Return does more damage than a move that's actually super effective. This game makes no sense. And now the pain is gonna come, isn't it? Everything rises. How come there are some moves that are like, I'm going to use this one move to raise 
excuse me, raise this one uh, attribute. And then there's ones like this. They're like, I'm going to raise multiple for no pain. Meanwhile, there's swagger. That's like, I'm going to inflict confusion, but raise the enemy's, like, strength. It is all so weird and wonky. Let me guess, that's going to do a ton of damage because of all the dragon dances. Aw, oh, you bastard. And I have no other Pokemon. Oh, and... Because it raises speed and attack. Oh, because that's fair. Game, you're being an asshole again. I wish you had the move thief so you can steal their healing item before they use it. But if they use it, it joins a list of annoying moves. Thief could potentially be useful here. But at the same time, kind of silly that, like... There are moves that, like, appear to be only useful here, in the Battle Frontier. Fire Blast! It's gonna do, like, 5 billion damage for some reason. Honestly, I should reset right there, because that's honestly bullshit. It wasn't even super effective! Why did it one-shot kill? I sure do love the game cheating to give their Pokemon 5 billion stats in each thing. Oh, fuck off, you asshole. This move does lots of damage and always hits. That should have like a 5% chance to hit if it's going to one-shot kill every single time, game. This is why we save state. Because this is bullshit. Utter shenanigans. Just very annoying. Game. Make this motherfucker flinch till they die. Oh, of course you're not gonna do that. Uh, now use fee for gym leaders in Elite Four Plus Champions. I didn't realize that they had items, really. Because they're not as annoying as these assholes. Why are these people not out there being gods of the Elite Four and stuff? Genuinely. That jump pluff could have soloed the entire Elite Four. Yet here we are. Sorry, Grumpig, but you used your action to uh, eat a berry, so you can't use an attack now. D&D &D rules. And Jesus Christ, you were doing a lot of damage there. How dare you? I don't know why, but the edges of the... I being kind of in shadow makes it look utterly unhinged. Yeah, for some reason I thought that would be more effective. It is kind of annoying that non-super effective attacks are starting to one-shot my Pokemon. Which is dumb game. Again, there was a time, there are po some times where the frickin' goddamn things, the super effective attacks do less damage than normal attacks. Non-super effective ones, which makes no sense. Why do you do sleep, you tangle of blue spaghetti? It's really starting to get to the point where this is just more of a waste of my time than anything. You are a jerk. Let me guess. All of my moves will now be paralyzed. So it knows Amnesia to raise its stats, Stun Spore to stall me, and Rest to heal. You are very annoying. Please stop. Again, I feel like there should be a number of mandatory, like turn rounds 
before your frickin' thing can do rest again. And why the... Did Amnesia really raise, like, your defenses that much? I swear you're taking more damage before. Yeah. I really feel that if you're gonna do stuff like this in the battle frontier... Like, seriously, that shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be allowed to literally wake up from rest to begin resting some more. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> It's just so aggravating. It is just a waste of my time and an annoyance, and I think this guy has another Pokemon after this, because everything is out to be pain. And he woke up. I'm going to run out of power points before I can kill you. Goodbye. That's fucking bullshit. I'm just gonna have my Tangela be asleep. He should be thrown off the tower for not actually playing the game. That should really be more than anything, like, have a diminishing returns at least. Because the more your Pokemon sleeps, the more rested it is. The less, like, diddly D that it gets from all that bullshit. <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know. The Battle Frontier is shenanigans. Just pure, uncut shenanigans. It's almost like the Pokemon developers knew that there were certain moves that are just completely and utterly annoying and broken, and they're like, hey, let's throw all of that into the Battle Frontier. Nobody's gonna play the Battle Frontier. I, I, I pray to God that they actually make the Battle Frontier fun in later iterations. Because this is just shenanigans. Also, I hate Endure. Endure is also a stupid move. It's basically protect, except you never die. And you can do, like, the same thing again and again. Like, oh, I'm at one health. Like, I feel, I feel like what it should be is that if you use Endure and you have one HP, you die. And... Oh, fuck off, you rancid motherfucker. Fucker. I did it. Where's my one hit kills? Just out of nowhere. Where are mine? Game. You just randomly give them to the AI because, oh no, the player fucking is playing the game. We can't have that. How dare the player actually be in an opportune position? Better use wacky move that never existed until now to kill. What is even return? Why is that more effective than super effective attacks? I don't get it. A critical hit of my own. A miracle has been smiled upon me. The Tight Money Living Channel? I don't even know what you are. You want to see the news? Why are you here playing the game? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we frickin' use save states, because this game is more than willing to cheat. I pretend to study a lot, and I'm gonna pretend to... <laughs> Opponents also shouldn't be allowed to lower your stats while raising their own. Yep. Unless there's some kind of give and take. Like Swagger. Swagger makes sense when it comes to like, oh, it gives you confusion, but it also raises your attack. I don't mind that all that much. But some things are just shenanigans, like also ones that are like, I'm going to raise multiple of my stats. I don't think that's fair most of the time. Let me guess, one hit kill. Ah, bullshit. Utter complete bullshit. 
Why do you guys get to have one-hit kill moves? It's utter shenanigans. Oh boy, a spammer of hyperbeam. That's very fun game. Sure is fun. Totally isn't bullshit sent out to stop the player from getting to the frontier brain at all, huh, game? You are an annoying motherfucker. Do you only know one move? Somehow, we survived! We can maybe use Recover after this. That was his first goddamn Pokemon! You... Fuck you if you have speed. Why do you know Shadow Ball? It's like you specifically know how to fuck me. And we're in a worse place to heal, so we might as well try Psychic and maybe mo hopefully get like a crit or something. Crit? Maybe, please? Of course. And load safe state. I'm going to kill you. This kindergarten magazine is too much. What? The magazine of the gun that you load into the kin the gun? Inside a kindergarten? You, you psychopath? What about Belly Drum? You lose half your HP, but your attack is raised to the max. And Healing Wish, where although you faint, your next, uh, next member is fully healed. What is Dream Eater? Is that good? I don't know. I think that's mostly like you have to put them to sleep. And after putting them to sleep, you can heal off of them and deal some damage. I also hate real tanky. We're gonna do. Why does that do so much fucking damage? I guess the recoil kind of make up for it, but fuck off. So many one hit kill moves from these assholes. Once again! These people have more, like, uh, Pokemon that feel like they should topple the Elite Four with ease. Why are they here? They're not the champion. How do you explain all these trainers who are so powerful that they can annihilate the Elite Four with ease? And yet here we are. Then again, there's also the rule of, like, no using items here. But who knows? Exploud. Please die. Alright, that's slightly worrying. Every single time they put up a combo move, bad things happen. Uh, please be annihilated. And somehow we made progress. Enjoy your tasty school diet. <laughs> and I, for all the suffering, I got four battle points. I bet they could whitewash all the gym leaders, the elite four, and the champion without healing. Also, I think whitewash is the incorrect term. Like, I think just out like wash. Yeah. 28. How many do I need to fight the motherfucker? Again, game. Let's see. It says... The 35th. So, this next one, we should be fighting... The diddly D man himself, or whoever. The frontier brain. For the, for the silver badge. Open level. Okie dokie. Let's try and see. Maybe we should swap out Zoom because they are getting annihilated. So maybe Shane, Lottie, and Stryker? 
but that also gives us like a but at the same time then that could still leave us in the area of ice moves obliterating these two which how convenient that i haven't really noticed that many ice moves being thrown my way after i swapped out shane hmm and also the first case of a you enemy user using earthquake happened when i put striker on hmm Definitely you. <laughs> so it's it's at this rate, it's gonna take us three hours to topple a single frontier. <laughs> Cause I think the idea is fun, but it's just way too bullshit. Are there fan hacks? You should have a Smeargle that knows Sketch so you can copy these super tough moves. Maybe. But... I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there are, like, fan ROM hacks of that. It's just like, Pokemon Emerald, but the Battle Frontier is fun. I forget what's, like, super effective against you. I Maybe Surf? And it doesn't do all that much damage, because the... Why does everything have Earthquake? No! Please don't one-hit kill my Mon. Fuck it, let's try. Make it flinch. Yay! Make it flinch again! Ah, Where's my flinch, like, rampage when you need it? I honestly have no idea what your, like, typing even is. Like, I just, I can't remember. You're just a weird rock man. Why do you get critical hits? Where's my critical hits? Let me guess, you're gonna give me one now, just fight, aren't you? Okay, good. That would've been annoying. Who are you gonna throw out now? A rip a dish. I'm gonna use recover. Thank you for using protect. If that like stopped recover from going off, I would be very angry. And uh, obliterate. Thank you for falling into the protect cycle. Uh, at this point, I will take it. Earlier, I'm just like, oh, this is a waste of my time. You just keep using Protect and usually failing. Why are you doing that? I will take more Protect users. Throw them all at me. I will take it. Ah, oh, it's a motherfucking steel bug, man. Yeah. Steel bug, man. Who will resist electricity? Steel bug, man. Steel bug, man. Who resists electricity because he's a hibiscus or something. But maybe I'll be able to survive this at least decently with some recover. But maybe it rose its attacks or probably not. But we can at least try. Who knows? Maybe he'll miss randomly. I miss randomly a lot. Maybe he'll miss randomly. And then a random aerial ace. Okay. No point really in recovering. Damage variance makes it null anyway. Hey, a critical hit! The world is kind slightly. That's probably gonna kill Lottie, but we... Maybe it'll survive? Nope. Oh, well. Hey, Striker. For the love of God, please. Kill this thing in one shot. I know it's, like, weird, because again, why? What the fuck? Oh, because focus, man. Focus band. It's kind of weird that being part bug type makes the steel part not as resistant to electricity. This is pretty tasty, uh, you crazy motherfucker. Go home. Higgledy piggledy, everything is pain. Save because pain. Because all of these matches are whack. Roar! I am so ready to be thrown off this tower. And a clay doll. We're doing this again. 
So you're gonna two-shot zoom. I'll just, I guess, use surf a lot and beg. Why does super effective not do much? Why do all of you know is earthquake? Why does earthquake do lots of damage when it really shouldn't? It should be illegal. Flinch. Just copy from the last battle. God damn it. You are a monster. Let's send out Striker this time, because I don't know. Wait, he knows Earthquake. Oh, well. My brain is fried. My brain is just completely and totally fried right now. Because I'm just sick of all these Pokemon showing up and ruining my day. That one was on me, but only because this is mind-numbing. It wouldn't be as bad if it was balanced. But it's not balanced. So it's mind-numbing. It is just completely and utterly painful to get through all of this. With these annoying Pokémon, with their annoying moves and oh-so-convenient counters to the Pokémon that I have. They're convenient. Oh, I'm gonna survive with one hit point. They're convenient getting crits. The abundance of them having heals for some reason. There's just too many of them. It should just be a flow of normal trainers. Because, like, if this was rebalanced and retooled, the Battle Frontier would be super cool. But right now, it's just painful. Again, a freaking jump luff. A jump luff! A dandelion man! How does your super effective moves do hardly anything but their super effective moves crit and KO? Because it's the Battle Frontier! Granted, there was the one time, I think, like the Gyarados did a super effective attack against me, and it did like no damage, but then it did like return, and it did all the damage, and it's just very dumb. This is just very dumb. It is just all over the place. And even though I've only ran into it twice, uh, like, what is it, Magic Coat or something, there's a move that can, like, go off after you move, and it's like, it's supposed to be like, oh, return all the attack damage to you. Uh, it's just, a, but I feel like it should activate as, like, a prepared thing. And then you hit, and then the damage returns to you. But I, maybe that's just not how Pokemon can really function too much. I don't know. And somehow we made it through that one. <laughs> Save state. Let's -a go! Winter will soon be here. Oh no! It's winter is coming. It's Jon Snow here to kill me. As a kid. And all of his tomato packets and his jackets. And I don't have... Wait, actually, I do have a dark move. It's on Striker. I can paralyze him, then bite him. And now watch him one-hit KO my Pokemon. Why do you know Thunder Wave? You're illegal. You're a psychic man. Yeah. Oh, you sub bitch! <laughs> That's too much for me to handle. It's okay. That's okay for him to say. Yeah. Game is full of pain and one-hit KOs for no reason. This Alakazam better flinch until the cows come home. It didn't. It is a bitch. Its mustache must be strung up, and it must be thrown into the river. Why does it Psychic do 5 billion damage? Ah, oh, great. It's not gonna die. And that's just an insult critical hit game. Now, have nothing but fighting types after this guy. Have nothing but fighting types after this guy. 
have nothing but fighting types after this Alakazam Zimzelabim. Nothing but fighting types. Nothing but poison types. Super effective. I uh, uh, no, no, no. You're a dark type, aren't you? You're a dark type, aren't you? Okay, you're not. Okay, good. Okay, I got worried there for a second. I got a critical hit. Maybe we're still in this. Facade, for some reason, does a ton of damage sometimes. Since when did a psychic know an electric move? Actually, the psychic types like Gardevoir, Alakazam, they can actually learn moves from, like, a lot. Especially with, like... I think this guy might be part dark type. We are going to return to that thought in a moment. But yeah, like, uh, Alakazam, Gardevoir, they can actually learn a variety of moves for some reason. Then again, uh, remember, my Lanoon, the normal type can learn Surf, but not Dive or Waterfall for some reason. Well, let's get pained. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because that's fair. And now we have to start the fight over. All because the, mo the game is just like, oh yeah, I'm immune. Fuck off. I'm feeling thirsty right now. How about I just choke you to death? Ah, the ground water type. Here to kill me. Flinch him for eternity, please. And it knows curse. It raises... Oh, its speed fell. But its attack and defense went up. So we're gonna be here for... And it no, It has leftovers. Ah, oh, why can't you flinch? Why don't you flinch? Why does nothing flinch when it is required of it for my joy? Oh yeah, and that jump luff that had like sleep powder and leech seed and giga drain and uh, double team. It also had leftovers. I think a trainer's Pokemon move should match its type. I think there should be some variety from uh, at least a bit, a bit of variety. But it is kind of fucking stupid when, like, because Alakazam is already a strong Pokemon. It already does a ton of damage on its own. It doesn't need coverage on top of it. Like, sometimes I think it's fine. Like, some moves, sure. It's a fucking goddamn... I'm just... I'm I'm not even dealing with this. Fuck this. I'm going to load state. Fuck that quagsire. Heedly he, I have tons of health and defense, and I'm just gonna be annoying. Fuck off. Fuck off now. Not dealing with it. I can reset. Fuck you, game. I don't have to deal with your bullshit if I don't wanna. Oh, hey. Let's watch Surf do like nothing. It's super effective, but does hardly anything. Because why make an H HM move actually useful? I okay, it actually did a lot of damage for some reason. Nine times out of ten, it doesn't. What's the worst opponent's move? Honest... That was very painful. But honestly, I don't think there's like... I don't know, maybe Fire Blast, purely because it's been one-shotting for no reason. Oh, hey, are you gonna hyper beam me to death, you giant fuck? Why are you faster? You're part rock. At least I think you are. There is no joy here. There is only pain. And it didn't even die fully. It did get paralyzed, though, I guess, suppose. It could have it could have just died. Oh, hey, we went first because the paralyzed lowered its speed. There is a god. Who's next to pain me? Oh, hey, it's Kingdra, the water type, who doesn't take super effective damage from electricity. Or was it grass? Nope, I think it might be both. For some reason, it just d doesn't do. 
for some reason, it just doesn't do. Is it a tent on using Hydro Pump, but it keeps missing for some reason? But yeah, like, the skill vary- or like, not even skill. It's just luck. I won because of luck. There was no strategy there. I question your fashion sense seriously. I question your ability to live. There is no strategy here. There is only pure luck and save states. Some people might say, oh, you're using save states at the Bundle Frontier. Yes! Eternally! I am sad because I am too weak. You are here to fuck my day. I do not believe you. Two missed hydro pumps? Is that good? You want to hear something funny? I fought a goddamn, like, what was it? An, a jerk Omastar that had, like, rainy day hydro pump just one-shotting my mons. I think I managed to beat that one. I think I ran into it twice. Ah, shit, it is a Snorlax with curse and probably leftovers. I cannot wait to be able to not do anything against this asshole. Please be thunder-waved to hell. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I am now going to send out Zoom so we can try and paralyze flinch this guy to death. No moves for you. Paralyze flinch. Paralyze and it knows earthquake. Why does it know earthquake? But yeah, we're gonna try and paralyze flinch. Paralyze flinch and it... Don't you love it when you have, like, two stacking effects of it not be shouldn't be able to do anything, but it does things anyway? Because, you know, that's fucking fun. Nice to see you, Paralyzed. Not doing anything. It's just gonna raise its speed and its attack. Oh, no. Lower speed, raise attack defense. Which I think is just stupid. Because it, you, why need speed if you actually can just kill whatever and not die? Huzzah! Now that just needs to happen like ten times in a row now. Oh, hey, a crit? No. <laughs> Snorlax is the king of sleep and HP. That he is. So I don't know why the fuck they decided allowing him to use curse is a smart thing. Why? Why? And also, he rests so he can get rid of Paralyze. Oh boy. My favorite. We're gonna be here forever! Because he's gonna raise his defense and stuff. He's gonna get low. He's gonna use rest. He's gonna get back to full HP. He's gonna wake up before I can kill him. He's gonna... Use rest again, and we will be here forever. Get a crit. Please kill him. Crit. Please. 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 Thank you! Ah, <laughs> oh, one of three. One of three. And now we're gonna try something similar. We're gonna try and paralyze this guy so he can paralyze and loaf himself to death. Oh, please paralyze and loaf yourself to death. I, yai, yai. And it no, huh? It could loaf. It could paralyze. It did nothing. I sure do love it when the game is like. Because I, I seriously. It seriously does feel like the game. Just like refuses to be fair. And it's gonna have so much HP, I'm not gonna have any attack moves by the end of this. We did get a critical hit, so that's nice. But I don't think I'm gonna have enough, like, damaging moves to kill the final Pokemon, unless it's, like, a poison type. Or something weak to Psychic. Snorlax is a, bro a Borlax, but it can, uh, really... But can it really learn Rollout and Earthquake? Yep. Definitely, I do believe it can learn Rollout. It's just, ah, uh, please die. 
And now I think we have, like, what, six moves to kill one more Pokemon, who's probably going to be... Oh, thank God, I think you're actually weak. Except now, Lottie is asleep and will probably die. No! Why does it know double team? I'm going to miss everything! Ah! For the love of God, wake up. Oh no! Vin has returned the bitch. Bitch seed is back. Cause pain. One shot, please. One shot. Get a crit. Please. Oh God, thank you. Jesus Christ. Hey, what did I do? Get in my way. I, yai, 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 yai. Let's go on. We will have a cool battle. No, we will not, because you are here. You are here at the end. There is nothing cool about one like you. I don't think I have anything good against you. Wait a minute, no. Yeah, I don't think I have anything good against you. Why wow, he does everything. I hate Leech Seed, unless I'm the user, of course. Basically, like, I feel like this type of game, especially something like the Battle Frontier, should have... You withdrew? You can withdraw? Why is this young child smarter than many adults in the Pokemon world? And that's going to one-shot kill. That's going to kill. That's going to kill Zoom, because it always does. Oh, it survived with one. Let's go ahead and use Surf. Why do you get to go first? Fuck off. Bullshit. Why did all of his shit rise? Because he used one fucking attack. I hate this. All right, that's kind of funny. He used knockoff when there was nothing to knock off. Idiot. Fool. Moron. Is he using it because it's the super effective move? I thought they fixed that. All right. Now there's a weak septile and something else. What's there? Another septile. You kind of scare me. Let's try and kill you. So you too know the art of leap blade. And you almost died. Please, no double team missing. Evasiveness, go home. Evasiveness, go away. Thank God. What's your final Pokemon? Ah, we haven't seen one of you before. I don't know if you're evil or not. You are weak to psychic, at least. One shot kill. Huzzah. That's like the first time that's happened to me, I think. Hello? I'm just a kid? Motherfucker, you are here at the Battle Frontier. Ooh. Ay, yai, yai. You've got... You've got your hustle on. No, I definitely do not. Haven't run into one of you before. Please flinch to death. And you know Hydro Pump. Ow, my headache is coming back. You too, no leftovers, I guess? Oh, Shell Bell. Is evasiveness more important than attack speed and defense? Basically, it f more than feels like evasiveness is like better overall, at least anecdotally. It definitely feels like it has more of an effect, at least for me. Sure, some, like, times when, like, the enemy raises their attack, 
or speed, it seems to, like, do wonders. But, like, I have no idea what which stats are, like, the best or what. Because, inevitably, when I use a stat move, it doesn't help me. When they use a stat move, it wrecks me. That is just the nature of the world, it seems. Oh, the world is kind slightly. The world is slightly kind here at the end of it all. And then it throws this bitch at me. Once again, thought that maybe, perhaps, we could do multiple frontiers. <laughs> no. No, we cannot. Well, shit. Guess we'll have to go to use Bite. Do you know, like, leftovers or something? Yep, leftovers. Why does everybody have leftovers? And double team. Because that's... Uh. But yeah, it definitely feels like only on very certain occasions does, like, me raising my evasion seem to help me at all. Ay, 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 ay. Why do you take so little damage? I guess I'll throw out Latty and hope and pray. Please don't have Leech Seed. I think they would have tried it by now if they did. I guess I will return because I don't want to waste any of my attacks. Fine. I don't know how, what to do with Substitute. I think all Substitute is, is like, a small little... Interesting music, but what does that do? Why not just have sleep, or like, sing, for Meganium? That seems weird. Oh great, it has Leech Seed! Your worst nightmare has come true, YouTube chat! Wake up, Striker, please. The goddamn Meganium is gonna get up, get down with the bad self. Why is the substitute still fucking here? Ah, this is Jump Luff 2.0. Why are you not awake yet? Fuck off sleep. Why is it so inconsistent? This is just annoying. This is just annoying. There is no fun here. There is just bullshit, random bullshit here. And now I have to waste time getting rid of the substitute, I guess. Because that is a thing. I don't even know the functions of substitute. It's just annoying bullshit that's in the way. Why the fuck did you miss? It's a fucking plushie. Fuck off. I'm getting pissed off at this. I'm going to use the speed up function if you keep doing bullshit game. I am annoyed. Stop. Wait. Leech seed, double team, substitute. You literally are just that jump luff again. Why? That's it. I'm speeding up. Fuck off. This is bullshit. You know what? Fuck off. You are annoying. Just gotta speed up because nothing's fucking happening. No game here. And then, of course, swap out, because fuck your leech seed bullshit. I'm just gonna make you waste your goddamn leech seed. Then you're not gonna be able to goddamn heal when you have no moves left. 
When you get down to struggling, you won't be able to goddamn heal, you asshole game. I'm just very annoyed. I'm very annoyed. And immediately swap back because I need the ability to get rid of Leech Seed. I need the ability to get rid of Leech Seed. I need it. I knew it would have Leech Seed. It's a grass type. All grass types have Leech Seed. Did no substitute. The substitute takes damage instead. Yeah, it's just very annoying. I fucking loathe you. Yep, I have to get rid of that leech seed. It is so annoying. And then, move back again. I'll take the leech seed for a bit. Why can't the game just be a game? Why is it? It's again, it's just the same, basically the same exact situation too. The same exact one. Run out of leech seed already. God. I think it's out of moves now. How do you fucking miss? Quit missing! Fuck off! I am very pissed off. The substitute should not be able to be missed. Game. I fucking swear. Wake up, please. Wake up, please. I hate the evasion boosting. This is asinine. And now you know struggle, of which we can return to you. Struggle all you want, finally. We have Grass Whistle, Leech Seed, Recover, and Substitute. The worst moveset ever. No, I'm the one that has Recover. That one has Substitute, Leech Seed, Grass Whistle, and Double Team. Arguably worse. Ah, oh, but it has fucking Leftovers. So Leftovers is going to keep it in the game. Quit missing, for the love of God. There's nothing I can do. I think I lose again. Because it has the fucking leftovers. I fucking lose again, because it has leftovers! Fuck off! That is bullshit. There's nothing I could do. I put out my boy. I put out Striker. They die to struggle. I, I, I try and struggle them, they heal anyway. It's just a fucking waste of fucking time. I'm sorry, but there should be no such thing as goddamn wastes of time strategies in this goddamn game. I am annoyed. I'm just gonna speed through this until we get to the frontier brain because this is bullshit. God. Genuinely asinine and stupid beyond belief. Oh, I sure do love that they randomly do 5 billion damage with normal attacks. When my super effective doesn't annihilate them, how come my surf didn't do 5 billion damage to them, huh? Maybe a setup move happened when I'm speeding through, but it's like, it just takes so fucking long to get anywhere. I am very annoyed game. I am very annoyed. 
and death, because this game is fucking stupid. I'm so unbelievably annoyed. Quit wasting my goddamn time game. For the love of God! It is just unbelievably annoying. Oh yeah, just normal move. I'm just fucking going to fuck off. I'm just gonna reset now. Fuck off. Heedly he, I'm gonna use one move and take out your Pokemon. Oh hey, well, let's look at this motherfucker. He's gonna one shot all my Pokemon. So the Magnium has double team, Grass Whistle, Leech Seed, Leftovers, and Substitute. Why can't it have at least one attacking move? Because it's not about attack in this game. It is about bullshit. And one shot my Pokemon, because that's fucking fair. Basically, this is the only way to play this goddamn tower. I probably should have used Recover, but it probably wouldn't have helped anyway. It is down to luck. It is luck. And the... Ugh, oh, this is nothing but pain. Nothing but pain. Ah, oh, That is basically the only way you can play the Frontier, is with Fast Forward on. Because so many times you end up in asinine, stupid fucking loops that they basically try to get down to struggle for both of you, knowing that they'll win. It is the deck out of Pokemon. Stupid fucking bullshit. I pray to God that the Frontier Brain isn't as annoying. Excuse me, but our leader, the uh, Salon, Ma Salon Maiden, is on her way in here in hopes of battling you. She should be arriving very shortly. You'll be facing the Salon Maiden. Let's go. I he I saved. Greetings. My name is Annabelle. I'm the Salon Maiden, and I'm in charge of running the Battle Tower. I've heard several rumors about you. In all honesty, what I've heard does not seem attractive in any way. The reason I've come to see you, well, there is but one reason. Let me see your talent in its entirety. Because, again, I feel like the idea of the frontier could be fun. But not when you put bullshit, time-wasting move sets like that in. Because, just imagine if I was playing legitimately. If I was playing legitimately and not using save states. This would be the worst design in the world. This would legitimately be worse than many, 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 many other games. The only reason why the Battlefront... Again, it is the stupid, asinine logic of lololol, optional is difficult. Fuck you. It should be, yes, it should be more challenging than the base game, but it shouldn't punish the player. It should be fun still. It should, yes, introduce new Pokemon from other places, like uh, like from Fire Red, Fire Red and Leaf Green that maybe aren't in this game from these people, maybe. Move sets that are more intricate, yes, but not bullshit. The moment I sense even the most minute bullshit from you, I'm speeding up again. Why does it feel like you did less da You could have just used Psychic, and it probably would have done more damage. Why does it feel like you are dumber than the people who do your, your battle challenge? And they expect you to have a win streak. Are you, okay, to be fair, at least Entei isn't on the banned list, but a legendary? Really? Are you fucking my ass? And it knows Fire Blast, which one shots all of my Pokemon.
Thunder Wave, make it go slow, and now it'll one-shot my Pokemon with Fire Blast. Because, let me guess, that heals. Limberry. Go ahead, one-shot my Pokemon, because, you know, that's fair. Fire Blast should have recharge like Hyper Beam. And a critical hit. Fuck you. There's a reason why I fucking saved still. This isn't as bullshit. But it's still up there. Where's my critical hit that one-shots the enemy? Not very effective. Thank God. Why is it not very effective? Is it the dragon part? And what next? No! Is Hyper Beam a healing move? No. Crits. Give me crits. Crits. Oh, thank God! Yes, lower your health more for me. Please. And get a crit now. Do not let it rest. Okay. Uh, do, do not let it rest. Do not let it rest. Please. Pl or you, please don't get one shot. Bullshit! Well, I guess Belly Drum into attack, but still, bullshit. No Pokemon that isn't, like, super effective should be fucking one-shot material. Just no ins... None of that. Genuinely. No move should be able to one-shot unless it is specifically a one-shot move or is super effective. No other way. No other way. Why does your disable keep missing? Why did I miss? Fuck off. Fuck off, game. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm pissed off at you, game. My normal move should not be missing, game. It's fucking headbutt. Oh, but it could make others flinch. Fuck off. Yeah, use Fire Blast. Watch it do nothing. Asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of this is utter madness. Utter insanity. I still don't know why Fire Blast, like, one-shots my Pokemon. It's just madness. Just tell them we'll have none of that nonsense, thank you very much. Exactly! No such nonsense or shenanigans in my home. I don't even know what Return is. What is- what- what is it? What is it? Why does it do so much damage? What is Return? Why does it do so much damage? Why don't you do another Fire Blast? Or did you run out? I have half a mind to continue out healing you. Because I want to be able to use my turns against Snorlax fighting him. Will the return please miss? Oh, we have to make Headbutt have a chance to miss because it can cause flinching. Meanwhile, literally doing half my health. Headbutt would never. Headbutt would never. Genuinely, this is a bullshit move. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm putting on the fast forward. Oh, hey, you did that now. Thank you. Die now. I'm sick and tired of that. Oh, fuck off. Back to the old mines. Oh, he gets to survive with one HP. Oh, how grand. Please die. And now... Ah, great. Why would you do... Well, you're gonna die anyway. There's no point to really keep it out. Thunder wave, so they can... And now, whittle it down, maybe. Why does it do... Oh, yes! I am the one who gets paralyzed. Fuck off. Is it still disabled? Don't get to find out, because this Snorlax is an asshole. Fuck off. I sure do love bullshit. 
I sure do love not being able to play the game. I'm giving fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, no. Fuck you and your stupid disable missing five million times in a row before. And I did that by accident. And now you're using Fire Blast. Why do you also have Fire Blast? I'm just gonna keep doing this because fuck you. Fuck your challenge. It's not a challenge, it's luck. That is all that this is. Five million pounds of luck and random goddamn burn. I sure do love random bullshit. I'm gonna speed it. I'm just gonna speed everything, because I am sick and tired of this. Why does my shit miss? Fucking pissed off. He's so goddamn annoying. Where's my critical hits? Gotta use recover. And now we gotta out recover the returns. <laughs> Alakazam can't learn Fire Blast! So you mean the game literally is cheating? Maybe he could learn it in a previous generation but can't anymore? I could see that being a possibility. God, you're so annoying. Alright. Why do you keep trying to do that? Why can't why can't I like get crits? That would be nice. Thunder wave, maybe he'll be paralyzed. Yay, paralyze. And now why does his body it happened again? He fucking body slams me. I get paralyzed. It happened exactly the same way. This is bullshit and rigged. Genuinely, will you please fuck off? Why? Why is Disable even in this game? No fun for you. That's it. That's all these moves are. No fun for you. Why can't you be flinched? Why can't I go first? Why? Is Body Slam an electric move? No, it's supposed to be like, oh, I Body Slammed you and it shocked your system, so now you're paralyzed. Gave you a broken neck, so now you're paralyzed. Stupid bullshit like that. It's also supposed to not be guaranteed. Why do you keep doing that, you asshole? All of this is just bullshit. Where's my critical hits? I don't get to have critical hits in this game, apparently. And all of a sudden, and I accidentally used double that somewhere. What even is return? Why do you get critical hits? Fucking bullshit. Go ahead, use yawn, asshole. Why do you get to do like 5 million damage on everything? Why couldn't you have done your belly drum? I sure do love when paralyzed does nothing. I sure do love when paralyzed does nothing. Sure do love when paralyzed does nothing. This is why we fucking save scum. Cause this is just cunt. Enemies, fuck off. Quit wasting my turns. I fucking hate this. This isn't fun, this is bullshit. It's just annoying. You shouldn't have to prepare a team specifically for the frontier brain. Thank you. There was something. It's not gonna help because that Snorlax is actual bullshit. Why do you get crits? Shh. 
genuinely, why do you get crits? I do not get crits against you so far as far as I can tell. I would love to be able to land some crits on this guy. Why does his body slam do the same amount of damage as, like, friggin'... His body slam does the same amount of... Fuck off. You do not need to be able to put people to sleep, you goddamn Snorlax. Please. We won by random bullshit. That's all that there is. There is no strategy. There is only luck. And they expect you to do this multiple times. Fuck no. Okay, I understand. You are a god who looks down upon us saying, fuck you. <laughs> Nicely done. Your frontier pass, please. Your talent shall be recognized. The ability symbol was embossed on the frontier pass. You have confidence in your Pokemon battling talent, don't you? Not really, because the frontier is actual bullshit. I urge you to keep battling and keep on winning. I'll be waiting for you until the next time we meet. We are not going to meet next time. You have defeated the Salon Maiden and swept seven trainers. In recognition of your infinite battle, we battle talent, we award you these battle points. Fifteen. Not even enough to get a calcium. Sure, why not? <laughs> Alakazam, Entei, Jigglypuff, Magnum, and Snorlax. With that team, no one can beat me now. Probably, yeah. At least in this game. Unless, let me, let me be, let me rephrase that. At least in this game, if you had to go through like 40 other trainers first and have a team that can cover any like random shenanigans that can come your way and be super effective against that specific team, then maybe. Otherwise, no. I don't want to talk to you, lady. Blah. The Battle Frontier, in my opinion, is not really worth it. Because the idea is cool, but it is just far too difficult and bullshit. Far too difficult and bullshit. I have never heard of Annabelle before. And there's probably a reason, because not that many people probably care to do the Frontier. Because, again, the idea of going through multiple trainers in sets again and again until you get a win streak and then you fight the Frontier Brain, that's okay. That's a neat idea. But the fact that they resort to bullshit tactics, apparently giving Pokemon moves they can't naturally learn, maybe not even learn through TMs, and just the ungodly luck. They get more crits, they get more one-shot kills for no reason out of nowhere. It's just a bunch of shenanigans. So I don't know. And those stupid Pokemon Flannery has the all-know overheat. Yes! At least that makes sense to a degree because it's her signature move that she gives a TM for, but still. Emerald is kind of shenanigans in certain places, but it is exemplified here in the Battle Frontier. I don't think I want to go through the others all that much. Like, unless I buff my team with, like, a save editor, just give them perfect stats, and roll through everything. But even then, the RNG would still take hours to go through every single frontier. I don't think that I will be doing the rest of the frontiers in this one. It is just not fun to do. It is boring because far too often lame tactics are used to essentially set up a healing loop with Pokemon that use leftovers so they can struggle and survive eternally and you can't outdamage them. It's stupid. I want to do the other ones, but this is the difficulty is just too dumb. Too, too dumb. And again, I don't think it should be a streak. Maybe fighting the brain should be, like, a total number. 
of fights. And then it unlocks a room where the brain wants to fight you. And then you can challenge them whenever you want. And then you need to hit another mile milestone goal before challenging them again. Because having to go through a certain number and then doing it, it's just like, no. And some of those fights that I lost would have taken in real life hours just to reach what should have been a stalemate, but is a win in their case. It's evil. But yes, I don't think I'll be doing the rest of the Battle Frontier. We will instead, next time, finish off Emerald by capturing the legendaries, maybe, and seeing what new thing was added to Meteor Falls Cave. Because the Frontier is not fun. It is not even really challenging. It's just bullshit. It's Pokemon that know strong moves, that randomly are stronger than super effectives, that have annoying item synergies with their moves. It's just like, sure, maybe it's meant to simulate fighting actually built teams for competitive, but that's not what I want to do. I want to fight a decently constructed challenge, not bullshit strategies. If I wanted to fight bullshit strategies, I would go play Yu-Gi-Oh! online. Hmm. But yes, next time we will try to catch the legendaries and explore Meteor's Falls Cave to find that secret thing that's added after you beat the Elite Four. Ba -ba -da -ba. But yes, thank you for joining me on this pain fest of three and a half hours. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. An edited content YouTube channel called Neon Icy Wings, which I swear content is coming sometime. I just need to get brain in order, which doesn't help when things like this cause brain to melt. I also have the streaming channel Neon Icy Games on YouTube that I stream to, as well as upload all the streams to eventually for posterity and backlog and so people can witness the past experiences I've had. And then, if you prefer to watch me play live on stream, <laughs> no, not Meteor Falls! Fallabor Town is my re uh, recovery after hearing that terrible sound. <laughs> oh yeah, because you very much dislike that thing. I don't remember it at all, so I'll have to pay attention to it when we go back, so I can give my thoughts on it, because it just has flash fried away from my brain. But yeah, and if you prefer to watch me play live on Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel there for as long as Twitch isn't absolutely destroyed itself. Twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And then if you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little character in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Inkblot, just all, all over the place. Links can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. The link itself can also be found in descriptions, bios, and link places of various sites and should have links to all of those art sites, social medias, as well as a writing site and my Patreon if you want to read the random fanfics that I create or give me money so that I might perhaps survive a bit longer in this evil of a world. Meh. I can't believe the real world was the real battle frontier all along. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.